Hello everyone, welcome to What If Remuro was in Demon Slayer Part 3, A Storm Hashira. Time past Remuro attended the Hashira meeting until they reached a topic he was familiar with, Pagaya. Just as you all reported the carnage of the demons has grown more than ever, meaning the threat to human life is greater than it has ever been, we must bolster the ranks of the demon slayers, what then are your thoughts, Tsunemi? The incident on Mount Natagumo says that all the caliber of demon slayers has dropped tremendously, most of them are useless, the trainers must have gone blind or something you think they could at least tell if someone's competent of not, Tenjin. Well Rimuro here sure packs a lot of power he landed that dazzling blow on you he's really achieved his potential, Tsunemi scoffed, Rimuro. Well I do believe he put it a bit more harshly than necessary, he does have a point though I do see a handful of potential there's not much of it we had to save a lot of them, something most definitely needs to be done, Shinobu. The more the human race grows the harder it becomes to control and unify them, not to mention times have changed considerably in this era, Jaime. There are those who joined us after their loved ones were slaughtered or those of distinguished pedigree who have hunted demons for generations, but for everyone else, is another matter asking more commitment to our cause would be much too cruel, Seal. Cruel or not it does seem necessary, Hijuro. But consider that Yurimuro and his brother after just joining encountered Muzin and a handful of the 12 Kazuki, I believe you can draw them out no, even we as Hashira rarely get the chance to confront one I am envious, Rimuro. I'm afraid there's nothing to be envious of Rengoku the lower moons aren't much, any current Hashira could defeat them single-handedly, but the other uppers are in an entirely different league of their own, Hani. I would agree the uppers possess unimaginable power, I still find it quite difficult to believe you three were able to face off with them and escape unscathed, Rimuro. Well they were doing more escaping, Abanai. Still the fact remains that you all let them get away meaning they will cause more destruction you all should have done better. A vein grew on Ramuro's head at this comment, Ramuro. Fair but let's not forget we would have had him if that blood demon art didn't possess teleportation besides how many upper moons have you fought a guru, seal. He's got you there, Abanai merely scoffed, Pagaya. How strong would you say they are Ramuro, Ramuro? I do my research and I'd say it depends on the demon and the methods too many outcomes to make a clear answer, but I'd say to have any chance at defeating them, you would need at least two Hashira, Pagaya. I see however the fact that Kibitsuji would make such a drastic move as sending uppers against you, all likely means he has a personal vendetta against your family, Ermuro. Don't be afraid to use that to your advantage if it's to stop Musin we'd do anything, Pagaya. That's very noble of you, for the sake of those who have died, there is only one thing for us to do I feel that you who are present today the Kors Hashira are the finest unit that we have assembled since the first breathing swordsmen of the feudal era, Tenjin Yuzui, Kaijuro Ringoku, Shinobu Kacho, Mitsuri Kanroji, Kani Kacho, Michiro Takedo, Jayame Himejima, Sanemi Shinazagawa, Abanai Guro, Giyu Tomioka, Seal Kacho, Rimuro Tsujikuni, my beloved children, I look forward to seeing your success. The meeting soon concluded afterward Rimuro set aside and walked Giyu, Ramuro. Hey Giyu you got a minute. Giyu turned around and nodded to Ramuro. Ramuro. Just thought you'd like to know Tanjiro and I mastered all forms of water breathing. Giyu. That's good to hear. Ramuro. Also I wanted to say thank you for everything you've done for us, I really appreciate it on behalf of my family, I'm sure that Tanjiro and Nizuko will want to thank you as well. Giyu. There's no need. Ramuro. Right, oh and by the way don't worry about what Shinobu said to you on the mountain, because it's not true. Giyu looked at Ramuro questioningly. Ramuro. Me, Tanjiro, and Izuko have the utmost respect for you so you can count what she said as false. Iyu was quite shocked by his comment. Tani. Ramuro we're leaving now. Ramuro. Alright I'll be there in a minute. Ramuro looked back to Giyu as he waved and said goodbye. Ramuro. Consider us your friends so don't be a stranger okay. As Ramuro ran off Giyu cracked a slight smile as he left. Ramuro walked to the flower mansion alongside Kani, Shinobu, and Seal. Tani. Ramuro may I ask you something? Ramuro. Sure go ahead. Tani. When you fought the upper moons did you happen to come across upper too, Ramuro? Yes though I didn't fight him my sister did, Hani. I see, Ramuro. In the meeting, you sounded acquainted with him have you fought an upper moon, Hani? Yes it was upper too, Ramuro. Would you mind telling me what happened, Hani? I came across upper too one night he nearly killed me until Seal arrived, she held him off I was completely stunned at her skill and talent she did better than I could, I felt so embarrassed as her older sister I was supposed to protect her, yet she did for me, unfortunately, he escaped as the sun rose, Shinobu. We keep telling you not to blame yourself for that day, Seal. Yes it's simply a miracle we were both able to survive, Ermuro. So that's how she survived Seal knew the day it would happen and made sure to stop him, but held back that would be the only thing that would change, Seal. Correct as expected of you master, Ramuro. Can you stay out of my head please anyway? My only question is if Kani didn't die how did Shinobu end up with the same personality, Seal? That's a secret, but I could be persuaded to tell you if, Ramuro. 
Never mind don't want to know. Seal pouted. They soon arrived at the mansion Ramuro went to check on his siblings. Nezuko was in a separate room on the second floor sleeping, while Tanjiro, Zenitsu, and Inosuke were also in separate rooms sleeping. Ramuro. I wonder if I'll have to pull some strings to get us all on that train, oh well I'll let that be a tomorrow problem. Ramiro then entered his room and to his surprise, found Seal there sitting on the bed. Ramiro. I must have gotten the wrong room, Seal. No this is yours, Ramiro. You needed something, Seal. I merely wanted to talk with you in case you had any questions. Ramiro sat on the bed, Ramiro. Well there are two I was wondering why you choose to save Kani making such a change isn't like you, and you've been acting a bit more. Dot dot bold than usual and I know your usual, Seal. The answer to both is withdrawal, Ramiro. Huh, Seal. I'm not used to being separated from Master for this long the 17 years felt like an agonizing eternity, but during that time spending time as a family with my human sisters, slowly eased the pain when the day came when she was to battle Dauma, I knew she was going to die, but I couldn't bear to let it happen, knowing I could do something I suppose it worked out for the better, Ramiro. Well I'm glad you've gotten to experience what it's like to be human, Seal. There are drawbacks, Ramiro. What do you mean, Seal? As you know I love you more than anything this love and the hormones of a young adult are not the best combination with that love my efficiency has gone down as a result, Ramiro. Yeah becoming human again was a bit hard to readjust to for me, but I was able to get back into the swing of things it's distracting, but you can get around it. Seal held Ramiro's arm and got closer to him and had a smile as hearts filled her eyes. Seal. I'm sure the strain has been hard on you as well we could relieve each other, Ramiro. Ah I see what's going on here, Ramiro held Seal by the hips, Seal. So all it took was for us to be alone for UT. Before she could finish she began to bend backward and hurl her out the door, Ramiro. Go to horny jail. Those were the last words he said before he slammed the door, Seal. It's only a matter of time the chase is the fun part. The next day past Ramiro went to the Kakushi to make his promotion to Hashira official, due to his natural leadership and charismatic attitude, he was well liked by them the sliding door opened, female Kakushi. Forgive me Lord Ramiro for intruding, but it's time to discuss the design of the mansion you requested, Ramiro. Right, Ramiro gave her the blueprints, Ramiro. This was my design idea if there's anything you can't work with don't be afraid to let me know, female Kakushi. Right we will get this done as soon as possible, she left the room, Ramiro. Ha I've become a Hashira looks like I can cross that one off my and I'm to-do list I think that's everything, Ramiro materialized a long piece of paper and checked a checkbox, Ramiro. Oh wait still need to subjugate the Dragon Ball universe and beat Naruto with talk no jutsu. The door suddenly burst open Ramiro put away the list immediately. Hijiro. Forgive my intrusion. Ramiro. Oh it's so okay, caring Goku. Hijiro. I simply wanted to congratulate you on becoming a Hashira. Ramiro. Thank you. Hijiro. Also I never asked what breathing style do you use. Ramiro. Well I mostly use sun breathing with the occasional water breathing, I've been thinking about learning other breathing styles as well. Hijiro. Impressive not many demon slayers can truly master one style, but you've mastered two quite commendable, Ramiro. He's quite loud then again it's not his fault I'm glad he's so friendly I was actually curious if you could show me flame breathing sometime, Hijiro. I'd be happy to, Ramiro. Great I'm glad to hear that, Hijiro. By the way, if you've mastered multiple breathing styles what will your title as Hashira be, Ramiro? I've decided to proclaim myself as the Storm Hashira, since a storm is multiple states of matter and nature at work in a disaster, I will be the storm of multiple breathing styles that's approaching demons to wipe them out, Hijiro. Very creative, Ramiro. Thank you, Hijiro. So have you thought about taking on Tsuguko, Ramiro? I do plan on making Tanjiro and our two friends Zenitsu and Inosuke my Tsuguko, I'll teach them what I can, so they can refine their skills, and it gives me an excuse to look after my brother, Hijiro. I know that feeling well I also have a younger brother, Ramiro. So you know what it's like to be an older sibling, then I'm glad we got stuff in common, Hijiro. I'm glad we had this chat I'd love to continue, but I have a mission to attend to, Ramiro. Really, mind telling me about it, Hijiro. Multiple people have gone missing on a train I've been sent to investigate there's likely activity of a demon involved, Ramiro. I see if you don't mind I'd like to accompany you along with my Tsuguko, Hijiro. Why is that, Ramiro? This many people disappearing does seem like the work of one of the 12 Kazuki, if that's the case we should team up, they can be quite the hassle, Hijiro. If it is your wish then go ahead it's best you ask the master though just to be safe, Ramiro. I plan on it, Hijiro. Well then I'm off for now I'll see you then, Ramiro's request was accepted as Kagaya saw this as an opportunity to see if the Tsujikuni were truly capable of drawing out the moons and Musen. Back at the mansion Ramiro announced so that he could officially make Tanjiro, Inosuke, and Zenitsu his Tsuguko, Zenitsu. What but being a Tsukugo means I'll have to fight stronger demons I can't do that, Inosuke. 
I'm not taking orders from you. Ramiro looked annoyed, but he expected this, then an idea shot off in his head as he grew a wicked smirk. Ramiro. Oh that's fine, I would never force any of you to do it if you didn't want to I guess that just means you're fine leaving Nizuko and letting Tanjiro surpass you both by a mile. Zenitsu and Inosuke. What? Nizuko entered the room. Nizuko. Ramiro glad I caught you, first things first, congratulations again on becoming a Hashira. Ramiro. Thanks Nizuko also I hope you're ready for our next mission we'll be traveling with the flame Hashira Kayajiro Ringoku I talked with him and he seems like a pretty nice guy. Nizuko. That's great it'll be nice to travel together again. Ramiro. Yes I'm looking forward to an adventure with the three of us and Ringoku. Nizuko. But there's five of us. Ramiro. I know I offered to let them come with us as my Tsuguko as only they have clearance to come with me, but they both declined, it seems Zenitsu doesn't want to come with us. Nizuko. Zenitsu is that true? Zenitsu. Oh well. Nizuko. That's a shame I was looking forward to traveling together it was fun while it lasted, I suppose tomorrow will be goodbye for now Zenitsu. Mental thunder struck Zenitsu as he felt he turned to stone. Zenitsu. Ramuro now that I think of it you've given me such a gracious honor, it would be rude for me to decline. Ramuro. Cool and don't worry you and Tanjiro are gonna get a whole lot stronger. Inosuke twitched at this. Ramuro walked to Inosuke and patted him on the head. Ramuro. It's a shame you couldn't come with us Inosuke I had a lot of faith in your potential, I suppose I just slightly overestimated you. A vein grew on Inosuke's head. Ramiro. Being a Tsuguko is a real challenge I suppose it was just above you. Another vein grew on his head. Ramiro. I guess you just can't do it and that's that. A third vein could be seen. Ramiro. I guess that's just how it'll be if you're fine with Tanjiro surpassing you. Inosuke snapped at this. Inosuke. Who said I can't do it of course I can I'm gonna do all your training and surpass both you and Manjiro. Ramiro. All too easy well then first things first the mission won't be for a while, so in the meantime you guys will have to master total concentration constant. Ramiro explained it's Initsu and Inosuke went outside to go train. Izuko. You always did know how to get people motivated. Ramiro. It's a gift also was there something else you needed. Izuko. Yeah I haven't seen Tanjiro have you. Ramiro. No, but knowing him he's already training by now. They walked down the halls looking for him till they came across Seal. Seal. Oh hello darling I'm glad I caught you I'm about to leave on another mission master's orders. Izuko. Darling. Ramiro. Good hopefully with it you'll calm down. Seal. You're so cruel and I love it don't worry I'll finish it quickly and come back to you soon. Ramiro. Please take your time. Seal got close to Ramiro. Seal. How about a goodbye kiss. Ramiro. I told you not in front of the innocents. Izuko. It's just like mother always said. Flashback. Ramiro and Tanjiro were in town doing what they normally do helping people and attracting good attention their mother and Nizuko were with them. K. Listen closely Nizuko. Nizuko looked up at her mother while she was holding her hand. K. There may be some women that will try to get closer to your brothers with impure intentions. She said this while pointing at the girls of the town staring at her older brothers with impure eyes. Nizuko looked wide-eyed with her mouth open at the truth of her mother's words. K. You must make sure to protect them from such women. Nizuko. Right I will mother. End of flashback. Izuko got in between the two and pushed them apart. Ramiro. Nizuko. Izuko's body grew and a horn spouted on her head she looked down on Seal. Seal looked up at her quite intimidated. Seal. Not only are most of my powers gone, but if I hurt her in any way master will be furious. Seal backed away. Seal. I'll see you when I get back from my mission darling it shouldn't be too long don't miss me too much. Seal left. Ramiro. That was really unnecessary I could have handled it. Izuko shrunk back down to her normal size. Izuko. Let's go find Tanjiro, Ramiro. Seriously though her protecting me really damages my pride. They wandered around till they found Tanjiro sparing with Kanao she had the usual smile on her face as she fraught him and their wooden swords clashed, Ramiro. He must have asked if she wanted to spar and the coin said yes this time looks like my brother has some moves, Izuko. Ta. Ramiro put his hand on Izuko's shoulder, Ramiro. Let's not interrupt them. Izuko nodded as she stepped back a couple of hours passed until they both finished sparring with each other, Tanjiro. Thank you for sparring with me Kanao shall we do it again sometime. Kanao flipped the coin Ramiro flicked the smallest grain of sand the coin landed a specific way Kanao looked at the coin. Kanao. Sure. Ramiro. I'm glad you two are getting along well. Tanjiro looked at his brother quite surprised that he was there. Tanjiro. Ramiro, Nizuko how long have you two been here? Hani. Long enough. Ramiro. Figured you'd announce yourself soon let me guess you two were enjoying the show as well. Shinobu. It seems you were aware of us as well you really are skilled. Hani and Shinobu both jumped down from the roof. Ramiro. Really like to make an entrance huh? Hani. I suppose so. Ramiro. I assume you were watching for the same reason. Shinobu. Of course. Ramiro, Kani, and Shinobu. Teasing. Ramiro, Kani, and Shinobu all had wicked grins. Hani. You two seem to have gotten quite close. Ramiro. I wonder what this could mean. Shinobu. 
it is quite a mystery. Anjiro. Hang on we were just sparring nothing more. They all looked at him with smirks, while Kanao simply looked confused. Izuko. What are you guys talking about? Ramuro. Yes please tell her brother what are you guys talking about. Anjiro's face was red. Anjiro. We weren't talking about anything. Shinobu. And here I thought Tanjiro was a pure boy. Hani. Never judge a book by its cover I suppose. They went on and on about teasing Tanjiro for the rest of the day. Boarding infinity. Ramuro. There's the train guys. Ramuro, Tanjiro, Nizuko, Zenitsu, and Inosuke were peeking out from a wall to see the infinity train. Tanjiro. Ramuro I'm still wondering how you were able to store our swords. Ramuro. That's a secret, but if we need them I'll go get them. Inosuke. Is this some sort of monster? Zenitsu. No, it's a train. Tanjiro and Nizuko looked at Zenitsu questioningly. Ramuro. The cities have them as a steam-powered form of transportation that's pretty fast, but it is not alive. Tanjiro. How did you know this brother? Ramuro. Read it in a book once anyway since we're early Ringoku should be nearby. Zenitsu. What's he look like? Ramuro. Well he should also be wearing the Demon Slayer uniform like us he wears it under a flame-styled Heiori that's wide as its base. He's also got orange hair with red spots in it, he's kinda hard to miss. Zenitsu. I think I see him over there. Zenitsu pointed to Ringoku with a large number of lunchboxes walking toward the train. Ramuro. Yeah that's him hey Kaijuro. Ramuro waved at him as he called him. Kaijuro looked at Ramuro as he was calling him. Kaijuro. Ah Ramuro and your Tsuguko I assume. Ramuro. Yep you've already met my younger siblings Tanjiro and Nizuko. These are my other Tsuguko Zenitsu Agatsuma and Inosu Kashibira. Kaijuro. Ah yes I remember this demon since the master accepted her I will keep my peace. Ramuro. I appreciate it, the train seems to be boarding now we should get on it now. Kaijuro. That would be wise. The group got on the train Ramuro sat by the window Kaijuro sat next to him, Nizuko also sat by the window. Zenitsu. This mission will be terrifying, but at least I'll sit next to Nizuko the whole way she looks beautiful staring out the window. Before Zenitsu could sit next to her Tanjiro quickly sat next to her, he and Ramuro gave an intimidating glare at the yellow boy, which led to him sitting on the other side with Inosuke feeling quite defeated while he had to rein in Inosuke so he wouldn't cause a scene. Aijiro. Would anyone like some bento? Nizuko. Oh yes, please. Aijiro handed a food box to everyone they all enjoyed their meals. Ramuro. Delicious. Aijiro. Tasty. Nearly everyone stared at them as Ringoku ate every bite and shouted tasty, while well, Ramuro did the same and shouted delicious Nizuko was devouring box after box Tanjiro ate relatively normally the boxes pilled nearly reaching the ceiling the maids had their hands full. Ramuro. Say Kaijuro I wanted to ask you come from a long line of flame breathing users right? Kaijuro. Yes that is true. Ramuro. Did they all have hair similar to yours? Kaijuro. Most of them yes why do you ask? Ramuro. I remember something in great-grandfather Yorichi's diary that after his wife died he was reached out to by a demon slayer with a hairstyle similar to yours, he stated how they were great friends and how he helped him in that dark time, just hoping that we can be just as good friends. Kaijuro. Of course also what color are your swords? Ramuro. Well mine is a mix of colors just like you saw when I took Sinemi's sword and it changed. Tanjiro. Mine is black and bright red. Kaijuro. I see how fortunate for you Tanjiro and a multicolored sword is unheard of only seal has one I wonder what it means. Tanjiro. He's odd, but he's got a good heart and a strong sense of justice. Ramuro. This personality of his is exactly why he's one of my favorites. Inosuke had his head out the window. Inosuke. Ha 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 this is great it's going so fast. Zenitsu tried to wrangle him in. Zenitsu. Get back in here that's dangerous. Inosuke. Let me at him I wanna race this thing to see who's faster on foot. Zenitsu. You can't be this stupid can you? Ramuro. Cut that out both of you no fooling around. They both immediately sat properly in their seats as if they were trained dogs. Due to their training with Ramuro, they developed a certain healthy fear of him. Ramuro. To this day I can't believe how effective Hakuro's training tactics are they seem cruel on the surface, but they're extremely effective. Aijuro. Ramuro's right who knows when a demon might appear. Zenitsu. Wait demons show up on this train. Ramuro. I explained this were you listening to the briefing at all or just daydreaming while staring at Nizuko the whole time. Zenitsu looked away in hopes of not being questioned more. Ramuro. I figured just sit down and try not to scream too much you'll make a scene. The conductor walked in their car and towards the demon slayers. Conductor. May I see your tickets, please. Tanjiro. What's happening? Ramuro. They check your tickets to make sure you belong on the train show him yours. Tanjiro. Right. Ramuro. I know what these are I should stop it now dot dot dot, but still I am curious as to what I'll see when I dream, and it would be suspicious if I was the only one awake, so I let it happen besides I could leave any time. I explained this the conductor clicked Ramuro, Kaijuro, Tanjiro, Nizuko, Zenitsu, and Inosuke's tickets when he was finished the lights flickered. Conductor. Thank you very much. Ramuro, Kaijuro, Tanjiro, and Nizuko stood up from their seats. Ramuro. 
heads up, Ramiro tossed Anjiro, Inosuke, and Zenitsu their swords, Aijiro. Conductor apologizes for our swords, but there is a reason so please keep it a safe distance. The lights flickered a couple of times, and a demon with horns appeared in between the passengers, Ramiro. Nizuko. Nizuko. Right. Nizuko stretched out her hands and flames appeared from them and engulfed the demon incinerating it, Aijiro. So this is her power the humans in the fire aren't burned in the slightest, the area is even cool to the touch impressive, but there's still one more, Ramiro. I see it this way. The fellow demon slayers followed Ramiro they entered the car, and people were fleeing a demon with long limbs, Anjiro. There's a bystander. The gust of wind could be felt as Ramiro brought the man to the safety of their side faster than anyone could see, aside from Tanjiro and Nizuko. Kaijiro caught mere glimpses, to everyone else, it seemed as if the man teleported to Ramiro as he held him by the shoulders, Ramiro. Get to the back you'll be fine there. The man ran out to the other car. Kaijiro. Good work now we won't have to hold back let's finish this. Ramiro. You can take him if you want. Kaijiro. If you insist. Kaijiro dashed to the demon it ran to him in response. Kaijiro. Flame breathing second form. Rising scorching sun. The demon's head was cut clean off its body and made its final movements till it faltered. Ramiro. That was some amazing sword play Kaijiro. Kaijiro. Haha <laughs> not as amazing as your speed I could barely keep up. Izuko. You were both amazing let's leave it at that. All the demon slayers shared their triumph till the lights flickered. They were asleep in their seats the conductor ran to a car up ahead, he then went on all fours to bow to the being in front of him. Conductor. As ordered I put them all to sleep sir now please do the same for me as well, won't you let me be reunited with my dead wife and daughter, please I'm begging you, Enmu. Certainly. The hand dropped in front of him it stood up, Enmu. You did a fine job now sleep forever. The conductor was put under the effects of the blood demon art and fell asleep, Enmu. Dream that you are with your family again, pardon me. The hand turned to five children who were sitting the one who spoke was a girl with braided twin tails and a green kimono. Girl. What would you like from us? He smirked as he explained his plan and instructions. Boy. And what of the girl? Enmu. She has been ordered to be brought back to Lord Musen alive, so leave her be and let her sleep. Every one of the demon slayer was asleep Rengoku, Zenitsu, and Inosuke's dreams were the same as the ones you know, except in Inosuke's dream Ramuro was a fox meanwhile in Tanjiro's dream he opened his eyes and saw Ramuro alongside him as they stood in front of their old house Hanako and Shigeru were carrying sweet potatoes. Hanako. Brothers back home. Shigeru. Welcome home Ramuro you too Tanjiro. Hanako. You sell the charcoal. Ramiro walked in front of Tanjiro in the old attire that he wore in his peaceful days. He patted their heads and knelt down to them. Ramiro. Yep we even got you some nice toys just make sure you share them alright. Tanjiro let go of his sword as he ran towards his three siblings and embraced them into the snow. Hanako. Hey what's wrong? Ramiro. Tanjiro, you okay? Tanjiro sat up and so did his sibling as he entered his former attire as well he embraced all three of them and cried and wailed. Tanjiro. I, I, I. As he continued to sob his younger siblings were confused about his actions, Ramiro simply returned the embrace and rubbed his head. Ramiro. Hey it's alright everything's alright. Tanjiro tightened his embrace as he continued to wail. Back in reality the children tied the ropes to the demon slayers and prepared to enter their dreams so that they may enter their dreams and destroy their course. Back in Tanjiro's dream, Hanako. And then he suddenly burst into tears we were pretty surprised. Heikyo. What an odd duck. Heikyo then began to laugh at him. Ramiro. Well at least he's not as odd as you Takeo. Takeo. Hey take that back. Everyone started to laugh at Takeo as he got embarrassed and lunged at his brother only for Ramiro to put his hand on his forehead, keeping him just out of reach. Hi. Well maybe you're just exhausted is all. Tanjiro. Don't worry about me I'll be fine. Ramiro held Tanjiro in Anagi. Ramiro. Better not be lying to mom and make sure you take care of yourself punk. Tanjiro. I will I will really I'm alright. Shigeru also joined in dogpiling on his brothers. Hanako. Hey what do you two think you're doing stop that right now both of you are you listening? Ramiro. Nope. Anako pouted. I merely looked at her children with a warm smile. Tanjiro. I guess I was having a bad dream or something earlier. Tanjiro's slumber of paradise continued meanwhile in Ramiro's dream. Ramiro slowly opened his eyes he was on a bed it was as soft as they come, he sat up straight. Ramiro. Looks like my room back in Tempest except better I hope this isn't all he's got. Ramiro noticed movement in his bed he looked and his eyes widened at what he saw. Shizu. Oh honey you're awake good morning. Ramiro immediately embraced her and teared up she was surprised by this, but returned the embrace. Shizu. You must have had a bad dream didn't you don't worry it's fine now. Ramiro. Dot 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 yeah, it is. The mind's paradise. Ramiro was embracing Shizu he started sobbing in her chest. Shizu. There's no need to cry it's fine now. He looked up to face his destined one as she wiped away his tears. Shizu. Feel better. Ramiro. 
Yeah so this is my dream it'll be hard to leave, but I can't let it keep me here for too long heck, maybe I should just wake up now before I'm too sucked in. Upon closer inspection, Rimuri's bed was massive, and so was his room he noticed more movement in the bed he looked to his left and saw Seal. Seal. Oh my master, are you giving Shizu special treatment again? Xion. Now that's just unfair we agreed we'd share Lord Rimuri now that's just unfair. Shizu. Now now Rimuri loves us all equally. Shuna. If that's true then you should prove it Lord Rimuri. Willem. Ooh sounds like fun. Rimuru looked to the vast amount of women he's had erotic feelings for in the cardinal world, each with lustful eyes. Rimuru. Dot 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 well I guess I can stay a bit longer. Just so that there isn't too much controversy as to who else is in the harem or not, I'll just say leave it to our imagination from here on who is. Meanwhile, in the Zuko's dream Rimuru, Tanjiro, Zenitsu and Inosuke were all battling a strong demon they were struggling to survive. Rimuru. This guy is tough I don't think we can beat him. Tanjiro. We need help. Inosuke. I've never faced such a strong opponent, Zenitsu. Aye, if no one comes soon we're gonna die, Izuko. Never fear it'll be alright now. Everyone looked at the voice calling out as a shadowy silhouette fell from the sky and landed on one knee, Izuko. Because I am here, Izuko was wearing a superhero outfit with a mask over her eyes, Ramuro. It's Nizuko, Tanjiro. We're saved, Inosuke. Alright, Zenitsu. Saved by a goddess do we truly deserve such salvation, Izuko. Stand back everyone. The demon charged at her, but she merely dodged. Izuko. Child's play. Izuko winded back her fist. Izuko. Justice flame punch. The demon was sent flying into space with a blink. Ramuro. Wow you saved us Nizuko. Tanjiro. You're the best. Inosuke. You're the strongest girl I ever met. Zenitsu. Please marry me, my goddess. Nizuko. Don't worry I'll keep us safe as we go back to our home. Ramuro. Yeah you're so wise Nizuko. Tanjiro. Our family will be happy to see us, and we'll be back safely thanks to you. Izuko laughed with joy as she bathed in their praise. Back in reality the girl tried to destroy Rengoku's core, but Rengoku subconsciously held her by the throat and stopped her the others weren't making progress in Zenitsu or Inosuke's dream, their results were the same as the ones you know. Meanwhile in Tanjiro's dream, hi. Tanjiro, I'm going to make your favorite rice crackers today alright. Tanjiro. Really, he said enthusiastically as he was playing with Rakuta, hi. Yes let me break out some old rice cakes. Tanjiro. Hear the Trakuta. Rice crackers. Takeo. No fair brother's not the only one who likes rice crackers. Ramuro. Takeo's right for one so naturally Tanjiro and I will eat them all and none for you. Takeo. How that's even less fair. Ramuro stoked out his tongue as he continued to tease his younger brother. Hanako. I want some too. Shigeru. Me three. Hi. Well, let's eat them together then can you all get the grill ready. Ramuro. Of course come on guys rice crackers await. Takeo Hinako Shigeru. Yeah. The boy with tuberculosis was still in Tanjiro's dream waiting unsure what of but simply waiting. Meanwhile, in Ramuro's dream, he was leaving his bedroom hours after waking up his clothes were baggy, but still, on him, he was panting as he was holding both sides of the door covered in various bodily fluids, what could have happened in there we all must wonder. Ramuro. Don't even ask. Ramuro fixed his clothes as he walked down the hall. Ramuro. Wow this castle has a nice design, but it's not enough to make me stay. While he was walking by Ramuru noticed a bright window looked out the window and looked at Tempest. Ramuru. No way. Tempest didn't look like it was in the era it was it was a civilization far advanced for its time. Ramuru saw billboards giant screen skyscrapers, everything you'd see in a city. Shizu. You never tire of the view do you? Ramuru turned around to see Shizu. Ramuru. Guess not. Shizu. It's truly beautiful it's the land you wanted to show me come to life. Ramuru. I'm glad you like it. Shizu smiled warmer than noon sunshine. Shizu. I love it. Ramuru's heart skipped a beat he didn't even think he had organs anymore. Ramuru. This has been fun and I've always wanted this, but I can't let this suck me in, I need to remember why I'm fighting Tanjiro and Nizuko they need me, and after all, it's not like this dream is truly. Ramuru. Ramuru turned around and couldn't believe what he was seeing. Tanjiro. Hey we've been looking for you, Nizuko. You said you'd give us a tour of a tempest I'm quite excited about it, Heikyo. Forgot how whatever not like I was looking forward to it or anything. Shizu. Apologies for keeping him for so long. Hi. Nonsense I'm glad Ramuru has women such as you looking after him. Ramuru. Dot dot dot. Akuta walked over to Ramuru and held his leg he looked up at him with a smile so pure. Ramuru started to tear up and hug the family he's loved over the years. Izuko. Ramuru are you alright is something wrong. Ramuru. I'm fine everything's perfect. Everyone was still slumbering things were looking bleak despite Rengoku preventing his would-be killer from destroying his core, everyone was still asleep back in Tanjiro's dream. Tanjiro and Ramuro cut down some trees so they would have wood ready so they could make charcoal. Ramuro. Got your load ready. Tanjiro. Yeah. Ramuro. 
All right, then let's head back. The brothers walked back to their home with the wood they chopped. They soon found their younger siblings grinding herbs. Anjiro, where's Nizuko? Ramiro, Anya, come to think of it, I haven't seen her all day. Takio, she went up the mountain to go pick vegetables. Anjiro, oh, okay then. Hi. Tanjiro, could you get the bath ready for me? I still have more to do here. Ramiro, I'll help you out with it, mom. Anjiro went to draw the water, and despite nothing feeling out of place, he felt something was wrong. Anjiro, I must simply be tired. As Tanjiro went to draw the water, he heard a voice so loud it echoed throughout the mountains. Reflection, Tanjiro. Wake up. Anjiro looked in the water and saw a reflection of him wearing his usual demon slayer attire and had an aura so bright it seemed as if he was on fire. Reflection, Tanjiro. Wake up. Anjiro was pulled into the water. Reflection, Tanjiro. We're in danger, you've gotta wake up all of this, it's all a dream, I'm sorry, but you need to wake up, you're in too deep. Tanjiro. What are you talking at? Before Tanjiro could finish the reflection version of Tanjiro grabbed his sword and slashed Tanjiro's neck. Tanjiro. Ai ah. Tanjiro felt his neck. Tanjiro. It's alright, I'm alive. Tanjiro was awake. Tanjiro. What happened? Did I just wake myself up subconsciously? Tanjiro looked around to everyone else sleeping, and kids were tied to the wrists of his friends and brother. He looked at Nizuko who was sleeping peacefully, and Ramiro had tears on his face as he was smiling. Tanjiro. There's most likely a blood demon arc connected to the ropes, and their slumber Nizuko should be able to stop it, but she's asleep too, I need to wake her up. Tanjiro tried to wake Nizuko by shaking her awake, but it didn't work. Tanjiro. Only one thing to do. Tanjiro took a deep breath. Tanjiro. Nizuko I need you, wake up. In Nizuko's dream, Nizuko was laughing among her beloved friends and family, but then she heard a voice calling out to her. Nizuko. Tanjiro. Dream Tanjiro. Ha I didn't say anything. Tanjiro. You're dreaming you're under the effects of a blood demon art you need to wake up please. Nizuko's eyes widened. Nizuko. That's right this isn't real and they need my help. Nizuko engulfed herself in flames the same happened in the real world she jumped up but hit her head on Tanjiro's. Nizuko. Ow. Tanjiro. Nizuko are you okay? Nizuko. I'm fine. She said while shaking trying to stay on her feet while her forehead was bleeding, she looked like she was about to cry. Tanjiro. You do not look fine. Nizuko. What's going on? Tanjiro explained the situation Nizuko then hastily burned all their ropes to ashes. Tanjiro. Zenitsu Inasuke wake up. He tried to shake them awake, but it yielded no fruit. Nizuko. I'm sorry. Tanjiro. It's not your fault you did great what do we do brother would surely know what to do he's always gotten us out of such situations what do I do? Tanjiro was puzzled. Nizuko. Maybe I could try engulfing them with my flames it worked on me. Tanjiro. Good idea we should start why? Tanjiro looked at a girl in front of him attempting to stab him and Nizuko they both dodged with ease. Tanjiro. What are you doing? Nizuko. Is she being controlled? Girl. You're all interfering now that you people are here we won't get any happy dreams. Tanjiro. I don't think she is. The other children got up as well taking battle stances. Girl. What are you two doing get off your asses and help us out. I don't care if you have tuberculosis if you don't do your job I'll tell him and then he won't show you any more dreams. The boy in Tanjiro's dream stood up he was crying while the girl in Ramiro's dream merely sat there seemingly broken. Tanjiro. She said he has tuberculosis how awful it's unforgivable taking advantage of them like this I'm sorry, but we can't let you endanger the lives of those here, so I have no choice but to fight back. Tanjiro swiftly knocked the three of them out. Tanjiro. You just wanted a happy dream didn't you I know because I wanted that as well I wish this was just a bad dream. Izuko held her brother's shoulder to comfort him Tanjiro looked at the boy with tuberculosis and the girl as she was holding her head. Tanjiro. Are you alright? Boy. I am now, be careful. Izuko. One more thing before we leave. Izuko walked to the boy and engulfed him in flames when the flames died down he felt better than ever. Boy. What how? Izuko. I've cured you you'll be fine now. The boy started tearing up the fact that the people who he was trying to kill showed him such kindness was so overwhelming to him. Boy. Thank you. Tanjiro looked over at the girl in Ramiro's dream she seemed broken. Tanjiro. Are you alright what happened? She didn't respond as she just kept crying. Izuko. What could have happened to her? Flash back to Ramiro's dream. Girl. What is this place it's so expansive and I've never seen anything like this, whatever I'll just find that core and get out of here, then I can have a dream for myself. She kept wandering through until she finally found the wall leading to his core. Girl. Alright I just need to cut through and the core will be vulnerable mine to destroy. But the moment she pierced it and left a tiny crack leading to the core, an overwhelming aura struck her from the tiny crack she created a terrified her and scarred her. Girl. What is this what is this aura it doesn't feel human in the slightest it hurts it hurts make it stop. The crack was sealed up. You should know better than to snoop around where you don't belong. The girl looked up at her savior. Girl. Who are you? The one who will save you so long as you do this one little favor for me. The girl nodded. Hell no one of what you felt or saw here it is a secret you must keep to the grave. Girl. 
I'll do it just please get me out of here I don't want a dream anymore I just want to leave. But girl don't worry you should be leaving here soon. End of flashback. The girl looked at Ramuro. Girl. Just what kind of monster is he? Hanjiro. I'm going to try to find the demon you do what you can here and try to wake everyone up. Nizuko. Right. Hanjiro and Nizuko looked at their brother he was smiling a smile they haven't seen from him since that day. Nizuko. I feel bad about waking him up from whatever dream he's having. Hanjiro. I know he's probably enjoying whatever dream he has in there he's never smelled so happy before. Anjiro and Nizuko looked at their brother then each other. Anjiro. I'm going to go find the demon responsible for this you try to wake everyone up. Nizuko. Right good luck Tanjiro. Anjiro nodded then left. Nizuko. Don't worry Ramuro I'll be here for you when you wake up. Don't wake me up. Anjiro jumped to the roof of the train where he saw Enmu simply looking at the path the train was taking. Enmu looked back to face Tanjiro. Enmu. What's this you're awake now good morning what a shame you could have stayed dreaming forever. Anjiro. So this is the demon. Enmu. Why are you awake did I not show you a dream tailored to your every desire if I had so wished it, it could have been a dream where your family including your oldest brother and sister were being slaughtered, would you have liked that one better of course not much too distressing. Anjiro merely glared at Enmu as he held his sword. Enmu. Or here's an idea a dream where your dear father comes back to life. Anjiro said nothing he knew how to block his emotions and made a practice of being in the selfless state when he fought, but beneath it all, he was furious he wasted no time as he was suddenly behind Enmu. Enmu. He's fast. Enmu's head dropped onto the train roof. Anjiro sheathed his sword. Enmu. I understand now. Anjiro turned around to see Enmu's head still speaking and not disintegrating. Enmu. I understand why the master ordered us to have you disposed of. The flesh of the train grew to support Enmu's head as it grew to speak to Tanjiro. Anjiro. That must have been a fake form if the train is supporting him, then he must have fused his body with the train, which means his neck must be in the front cars I'll have to cut that instead. Anjiro dashed to the front of the train he jumped fully prepared to cut it. Anjiro. Sun breathing second form. Clear blue sky. Clever of you to find the weak spot so quickly, but you should have listened to your opponent. Anjiro began the 360 when suddenly his blade cut the roof of the train, but it was stopped from reaching the neck bone. Anjiro. What? The blow sent Tanjiro back to the roof where Enmu was though he blocked it, so he was still unharmed. I relished at this opportunity to defeat you. Anjiro. You. Anjiro. Akaza what are you doing here? Akaza. My lord ordered me to partner with lower one so that we can dispose of you. Anjiro. I can take you both on. Enmu. Maybe but I wonder can you defeat us while protecting all those poor passengers as you may have found out I have fused my body with the entire train, can you fight us off while protecting everyone on such a long train, or will you be too busy saving others to fight us leading to your and their destruction, Anjiro. Nizuko I need you and the others to protect the passengers, Nizuko was engulfing Kaijuro and Inasuke in her flames they were waking up, Inasuke. Hiya, Kaijuro. Nizuko what happened, Nizuko. Quick recap we were put to sleep by a blood demon art Tanjiro woke me up, so I woke you guys up, Tanjiro is fighting two of the 12 Kazuki he needs help, we also need to protect the passengers. Rengoku jumped onto the train's ladder. Rengoku. I will go help your brother you all protect the passengers. Izuko. Right. Aijiro jumped to the top of the train. Izuko. Inasuke we need your strength we need you to protect two cars worth of passengers in the back. Inasuke. Don't worry underling 3 your leader lord Inasuke is here it only makes sense to trust me with 2 cars don't worry I'll handle this. Inasuke dashed to the 2 back cars cutting the limbs of the train on the way. Izuko. It was probably a good idea to not tell him I'm protecting 4, well Tanjiro and Rengoku are fighting the stronger opponents anyways we need 2 more cars to be protected. Izuko walked to where Zenitsu was sleeping. Izuko. I would have waken you up by now, but I think it's better this way. She knelt down to Zenitsu and spoke in his ear. Izuko. Zenitsu I need your help please protect the remaining two cars, a spark could be heard, Zenitsu, thunder breathing first form, thunder clap and flash, Zenitsu slashed the surrounding limbs, Zenitsu, Nizuko I will help you, Zenitsu speed to the two cars, Nizuko, with the training they got from Ramuro they should be fine, though I wish his methods weren't as cruel, the limbs grew and surrounded the passengers of the car Nizuko stretched out her arms, Nizuko, blood demon art, Justice Huffler, Inferno. All four of the cars were engulfed in black flames all of Enmu's limbs in each car were cut. Enmu. She's quite troublesome but one by one they must all fall. Aijiro and Tanjiro were fighting Akaza and Enmu, they mostly focused their attacks on Akaza as they couldn't get past him to reach Enmu's neck. Tanjiro. You seem slightly faster than since we last met. Akaza. Of course, you and your siblings seem to have quite angered our lord after he called us all and disposed of the other lower moons he gave us even more blood. Enmu. I wonder if you two can beat us both the way we are now. The limbs surrounded them they had trouble fighting off Akaza and Enmu's limbs. Tanjiro. 
I need to fend them off and reach the neck, but I'm barely blocking all their attacks what do I do wait, maybe I can do that, flashback, Anjiro was at the butterfly mansion he just finished sparring with Kanao, Anjiro? Thanks for sparring with me again Kanao I really enjoy your company, Anao flipped the coin, Anao? It was nice sparring with you as well, Anjiro smiled at this, Murata? Hey Tanjiro glad I found you this place is massive, Anjiro? Oh Murata it's nice to see you again I'm glad you're doing well, Murata? Well I could actually be better now that you mention it, Anjiro. What's wrong, Murata? It's those Hashira, they're so scary I came to make in my report and they were so intimidating when I told them about the mission and the demon slayers that failed to accomplish their missions, they were asking stuff like, who trained them, and are they even demon slayers, though I'm happy for your brother since he became one of them, but now it's like he's gotten a million times more, intimidating, Ramiro. Well I don't think we're that bad, and after the time we spent together you think of me in such a way you're hurting my feelings, Murata. Murata jumped at the voice behind him as he saw Ramuro, Giyu, Kani, and Shinobu standing behind him, Murata. No that's not it I'm very grateful for what you did for me on the mountain I just came by here to give my thanks now if you'll excuse me. Murata then bowed and ran out of the training yard, Shinobu. Oh my goodbye, Kani. Good luck out there, Anjiro. Oh Giyu it's nice to see you again what brings you here, Giyu. I came by here to see you and Ramiro, Shinobu. Oh is this your attempt at making friends that's nice, maybe more than zero people will like you, Biu. I already told you that's not true people do like me, Shinobu. Like who? Ramiro felt the tension in between them, Hani. Publicly flirting, how bold of you both. Both Shinobu and Giyu were red, Shinobu. Sister may I speak with you privately. Before she could answer Shinobu grabbed Kani's wrist and took her with her out of the room, Ramiro. Well what is it you wanted to talk to us about Giyu, Biu? I've been told you two have mastered water breathing, Ramiro. Yeah we've learned all the forms, Biu. Not all of them there's one more you both need to master. They both looked at him questioningly wondering what that could be. End of flashback, Anjiro. Water breathing 11th form. Dead calm. Enmu's limbs were all cut and Akaza was being pushed back. Aijiro. Isn't that Tomioka's move when did he learn that, Anjiro? It's helping but it's not enough we need more help brother please wake up. Meanwhile in the car that Nezuko and the sleeping Ramiro were in Nezuko was trying her best with her flames to protect the passengers and wake up Ramiro, but nothing was working, Nezuko. My flames should have awoken him by now what's wrong with him. Ramiro still had the smile and tears on his face as he was happily dreaming Nezuko was close to tears seeing her oldest brother like this, Nezuko. Ramiro please wake up in Ramiro's dream, Ramiro. So are you guys ready for the tour, Anako? Yeah I can't wait, Shigeru. Sounds like fun I can't wait to explore, Ramuru. Don't worry everyone here will welcome you with open arms, Seal. Master before you go there's something that needs your attention, Ramuru. Can't it wait till after Seal, Anjiro. Don't worry about us we'll be waiting outside, Shizu. I'll show them what I can while you guys take care of what you need to, Ramuru. Alright give us a minute, Ramuru's family left with Shizu guiding them, Ramuru. What's up Seal, Seal. Master, Ramuru. Look if this is an excuse to get alone time I told you we can do it later, Seal. Don't you think it's time to wake up, Ramuru? Dot dot dot. Seal? Dot dot dot. Ramuru. I figured it was the real you the whole time though I was sure when you stopped that girl from entering the place where my core was, Seal. Master you know where you are and what this is, Ramuru. Tanjiro and Rengoku can handle Enmu and when Akaza comes later, Tanjiro will be able to finish him off, Seal. Both of them are on the train fighting your brother and Rengoku, Ramuru. Dot dot dot. Seal. Remember what you came to this world for. Ramuru started crying. Seal embraced him to comfort him. Seal. It'll be okay master. I know I haven't acted as I should in this world, but no no matter what I'll always be there for you. Ramuru. Thank you Seal just one more thing I need to accept this. Seal nodded as she let go. Ramuru walked out the door. Izuko. Brother you're ready to go. Ramuru. I'm sorry but something has come up that needs my attention. Heikyo. What all come on you promised. The world around them began to slowly crumble, Ramuru. I know but don't worry I promise to take you guys another time. The world continued to crumble and dissolve around them, Ramuru. I'm sorry for getting your hopes up I dot 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 I. Ramuru began to tear up but suddenly he was embraced by his family and Shizu, Shizu. It was fun while it lasted but it's time to wake up now don't worry you'll be fine I believe in you slime san. Ramuru held his family tightly as he cried and the world neared its end. Ramuru was awake he was crying he looked to his right to see Nizuko crying as well when she saw her brother awake. Ramuru. I. Nizuko hugged Ramuru. Nizuko. I know it must have been hard it's fine I'm just glad you're here now. Ramuru hugged her back. Ramuru. Yeah me too. For today's Taisho era secret we'll see some conversation between Ramuru and the Hashira that happened after their meeting. Ramuru. Thanks for teaching me and Tanjiro dead calm, it's a pretty amazing form you created. Biu simply nodded. Hi Jiro. 
Yes, it's quite impressive that you invented such a form, Giyu. Dot 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 thanks, Shinobu. My Giyu you really don't know how to talk well to people, it's no wonder not many people like you, Ermuro. Shinobu I think that's a bit mean, Seal. Well it's not far from the truth Ringoku, Tanjiro, and Izuko are saints they like everyone, Hani. Come on that's enough you two, Abanai. Hmm, Mitsuri. Is something wrong Iguro-san, Tsunemi. You've been staring at them for a while now it's kinda weird what's up, Abanai. Something's been eating at me for a while about Ramuro and Seal, Jayame. Is it that Seal has become infatuated with him from just meeting him, Abanai? It's not just that I may as well simply confront them about it, Tenjin. I don't know what he's planning, but it sounds like it'll be flashy we should watch. Abanai walked over to the other Hashira as Kani was scolding Seal and Shinobu and Ramuro and Ringoku were trying to comfort the poker-faced water pillar, Abanai. Seal, Ramuro there's something I've been meaning to ask you too, Ramuro. What is it Aguro, Abanai? You two both look strikingly similar the only difference being your genders emphasize with each other, along with it you possess equal prowess, and your swords are even the same color, Ramuro. Crap could he have found us out, Seal. Perhaps we'll have to eliminate him, Ramuro. Calm down let's just see if we can't talk our way out of this, what are you getting at Aguro, Aguro? I at first suspected you two could be of a similar clan, but with this many similarities I have only one guess, Seal. Which is, Abanai. Ramuro, Seal. They both looked at him with expectant and determined eyes. Abanai. Are you two long lost twin siblings? Ramuro. Dot dot dot. Seal. Dot dot dot. Ramuro. I came from my mother and my family has a habit of being awful at lying, and they're too genuine to keep a secret like that if I was they would have told me and brought up that it would have made no difference. Seal. Our family has medical records of our births I came from my mother as well, my big sisters were there to see it. Abanai. Hm I see. Abanai held his chin. Abanai. Perhaps it's possible that both your mothers may have had an outside affair. Several terrifying auras could be felt. Hani. Iguro san you should be more sensitive about what you accuse people you don't know of. Shinobu. You really should be more considerate before making quite an accusation. Iguro san. Ramuro and Seal unsheathed their swords. Ramuro. I'll kill him. Seal. Not after I'm done with him you're not, wait your turn, darling. Biu, Ringoku, Tenjin, and Jayame were restraining Ramuro, while Kani, Shinobu, Tsunemi, and Mitsuri were restraining Seal. Abanai. Calm down it's only a theory, Ramuro. A theory that's gonna lead to me shoving my foot up your, Tenjin. Wow well, now calm down this is not flamboyant, Aijiro. Ramuro control your emotions, Jayame. Calm yourself, Tsujikuni, Seal. Sisters, Mitsuri, Tsunemi would you kindly unhand me, Tsunemi. Like hell, I will when you're acting like this, Hani. Sister don't try and hurt Aguro-san, Shinobu. No matter how much he deserves it he's not worth it, Mitsuri. Seal-san please calm down, Seal. I'm perfectly calm and now calmly I'll gouge out that miserable town of his. Nightmare awakened. Anjiro was trying to push through while Ringoku fought off Akaza, but he couldn't break through meanwhile Akaza was slowly gaining the upper moon against Ringoku. Akaza. Kaijiro it tears me apart that I can't turn Tanjiro into a demon, but you're strong as well you must become one. Kaijiro. No thank you. Tanjiro was going to attempt to help Ringoku, but he was caught off guard and put to sleep, but every time he was his reflection woke him up for him leading to him quickly getting back up this process continued too long for Tanjiro to help him. Ringoku. Flame breathing and INTH form. Ringoku. Akaza. Destructive death. Annihilation type. Ringoku cut Akaza's arm as Akaza grinned. Ringoku was going to make another slash. Akaza saw he was wide open and took the opportunity as he began to strike. Akaza. It's over. An explosion occurred. Both Enmu and Tanjiro were waiting on the result. Tanjiro. Ringoku. The dust settled what they saw shocked both of them. Ringoku had his blade up and Akaza's fist was caught by none other than Ramuro. He had his fist through Akaza's stomach, well a few inches in front of Kaijiro. Kaijiro. Ramuro. The Kaza merely smiled at the strength being displayed. Ramuro. Sorry I'm late, overslept. The Kaza. Your strength is amazing it's a true tragedy you can't become a demon. Ramuro kicked Akaza a good distance away he then zoomed right past him. Enmu. He's the one I was most worried about he must continue to dream. Enmu constantly tried to use his blood demon art on Ramuro, but he continued to dodge and slash all the eyes. Enmu. He's too fast. Ramuro jumped to the car where the neck bone was he was ready to cut it as he destroyed the roof, but he was then caught by an eye that sent him to sleep. In Ramuro's dream, it was dark and Reddy saw the house he learned to call home covered in blood as he heard crying and looked at his youngest brother, Rakuta, crying. Rakuta. Why wouldn't you save us we needed you? Ramuro was then shoved by Takio. Takio. Well we were being murdered where the hell were you? Ramuro looked at Shigeru who looked at him with contempt he felt a tug on his sleeve. Hanako. Did we not matter enough to you that you would let you three be the only survivors? Ramuro's eyes were wide with a flash he was sitting in front of Tanjiro. As he was drinking a cup of tea he then threw it in his face Ramuro didn't flinch. Tanjiro. 
all that power and you wouldn't even save your own family how could you be so heartless? He was then sent standing over the dead bodies of Takeo Hinako and Shigeru as Kai was behind him holding Rakuta's corpse. Hi. No one needed to die that day, but instead you just took what you wanted and left the rest of us behind. But another flash he was in complete darkness, he saw nothing till slowly Tanjiro appeared in front of him holding a sobbing Nezuko. Tanjiro. This family was it nothing but a tool to you. Ramiro. Dot dot dot. Tanjiro. You let us suffer you let us die all just so we could do what you wanted was there no other way. Ramiro tried to reach out to them. Nezuko. Stay away from us. Ramiro stopped where he was. Nezuko. You're no brother of ours you weren't even supposed to be born. Another flash led him to what he wanted to see the least he was back in Tempest, when it was just developing he was sitting by a bed. Shizu. You were too weak to save me in the past. Ramiro looked up and saw Shizu sitting up on the bed where she passed. Shizu. What's your excuse now that you're a god? You have the strength yet you still refuse to save those you claim to hold dear. But I guess it makes sense after all what are a couple of insignificant humans to a true monster. Ramura's eyes were wide and shaking he woke up and instead of cutting the neck he landed on his feet he stood where he was. Ramuro. Dot dot dot. He then walked to the edge right door of the train. Enmu. It seems I broke him and now he desires to end it all how wonderful this is perfect with him out of the way they'll all fall. Ramuro just stood there by the edge. Enmu. If you so wish it I can grant you a dream where they apologize. Ramiro. Dot 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 a monster huh. Ramiro gripped his sword. Ramiro. A monster is that right Enmu. The terrifying aura could be felt everyone awake could feel it the fighting even stopped for a moment to acknowledge it. Tanjiro. What is this awful smell it's terrifying even more so than upper one. The Kaza. This fighting spirit no this murderous spirit it's unreal in all my years I've never seen anything like it. Hijiro. What is this I've never felt such fear before. Izuko. What is this feeling. Zenitsu. That sound it's absolutely terrifying. Inasuk. All of my instincts are telling me to run right now. Ramiro glared at Enmu's form in front of him, Enmu never felt such fear before. Ramiro. You think you've seen a monster news flash, you haven't let me show you what a real monster looks like. Ramiro disappeared from his sight. Enmu. Where did he ah? Enmu howled in pain. Enmu. What's going on it feels as if my entire body is being torn apart piece by piece, it's happening faster than I can regenerate, and why does everything feel so slow? Nizuko, Zenitsu and Inosuke felt gusts of wind around them, as they witnessed the flesh of the train around them being completely annihilated piece by piece cell by cell. Enmu. Jiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiii
sun breathing seventh form. Beneficient radiance. The Kaza and Ramuro continued to clash as various forms of sun and water breathing were being used against Akaza. Various limbs of his were flying everywhere. Both warriors screamed their battle cries as Ramuro had a maniacal grin the entire time, which internally frightened Akaza. They clashed, causing countless destruction in the near forest. All that could be seen are flashes of the blood demon arts and the breathing being used. Ringoku and Tanjiro did all they could to keep up and find an opening. Akaza. This speed and power I'm giving it everything I've got and it's still not enough just what the hell are you, Ramuro? Figure it out. Ramuro said this as he continued to slash and hack away. As they continued to fight Akaza noticed the sun rising. Akaza. Shit I'm out of time I need to get out of here, Ramuro. Looks like I won't have to finish you I just need to keep you occupied a little while longer, Akaza. Destructive death. Disorder. The Kaza got Ramuro caught in a massive disorder, though he blocked it, the attack sent him flying. The Kaza then continued to run, but Tanjiro and Ringoku were close behind. Aijiro. We won't let you flee. Tanjiro. Come back here you coward I won't let you escape again. The Kaza was furious at being called a coward by Tanjiro. The Kaza. Destructive death. 10,000 leaves flashing willow. The attack caught the both of them off guard, which led to them being pushed back by it. The Kaza. I loathe the retreating like this, but once I do I'll get even stronger and defeat all of them. As Akaza was running he was stopped by a punch sent through his midsection. Nizuko. You're not going anywhere. She engulfed him in flames as she threw him back to her brothers and Kaijuro. Akaza. The sun it's rising I need to get past them soon. Ramuro. You're not going anywhere today we kill you. Akaza. Like hell I let that happen destructive death. Final form blue silver chaotic afterglow. Ramuro. Slime breathing second form. Azathoth and Beelzebub, Void's Hellspin. Ramuro's thrusts were carried out more rapidly, along with slashes that formed a terrifying looking monster that seemed like a black hole for all his attacks. Akaza tried to back away, it was as if the form had its own gravity and sucked him in. Ramuro. You're mine. Ramuro made a downward X lash on Akaza, cutting his arms and lower torso apart. He lifted Akaza up with the flat of his blades. Ramuro. Tanjiro, Kaijuro Nuo. Tanjiro and Kaijuro were on opposing sides of each other holding their swords. Kaijuro. Flame breathing, Tanjiro. Sun breathing, Aijiro and Tanjiro. Ninth form, Aijiro. Ringoku, Tanjiro. Dragon Sun Halo Head Dance. They both darted towards each other, both their blades came in contact with Akaza's neck, but they slowed on contact. Akaza. Now's my chance. Akaza was about to backhand the both of them, but both his hands were caught by Ramuro. Ramuro. Hold still. Akaza struggled to break his arms free, but Ramuro was too strong his legs weren't regenerating because Ramuro was using his to continuously cut them while holding his swords with his feet. All four of the warriors were giving their all screaming their hearts out, but since the beginning, and even now though he howled like the rest of them a wicked grin never left Ramuro's face Akaza looked down upon it in terror at the monster in front of him. Ramuro. Die Akaza. Akaza shivered at the sound of his voice he lost his composure. Akaza. I won't be Wieak. The Kaza was slowly loosening out of Ramuro's grip, his fist was getting closer to Tanjiro and Kaijuro's faces. Ramuro. Should human limitations are catching up to me the adrenaline has been helping, but I can't hold on and cut his legs at the same time for much longer. The Kaza. What's this losing your grip I guess in the end you're still human after all feel this feeling this is human limitation. Suddenly a shadowy figure jumped over them and cut its arm, all four of them were showered in blood the moonlight revealed it was Nizuko. Nizuko. Blood demon art. Exploding blood. The blood lit into flames. Akaza. Jaya. Aijiro and Tanjiro's swords were making more progress through Akaza's flesh until a clean cut was made. Akaza's head was severed. Ramuro. Thanks to Tanjiro's bright red blade, he won't be coming back. It's over. Akaza's head fell to the floor. Ramuro. Tanjiro, get the blood. Tanjiro. Right. Tanjiro took out the knife and collected the sample. Ramuro. By now his human life must be flashing before his eyes don't worry Akaza you're my favorite of the upper moons because no matter what deep down you stuck to morals throughout the years and never harmed any women or children, a place in Tempest is reserved for you. Akaza snapped back to reality as his head and body continued to disappear, he then looked upon the four that defeated him. Akaza. You all are truly strong at the rate you're all going the time of us demons may come to an end still it was an honor to be defeated by you all. Ramuro. If you have any last words or requests we'll gladly hear them. As Akaza's head neared its destruction he said this with a smile. Akaza. Do whatever you can to make Dama suffer. Izuko gave Akaza a thumbs up. Akaza. With that, I can rest in peace. Akaza's head disintegrated the sun also rose upon them. Aijiro. It seems our mission has been completed. Anjiro. Yeah, Izuko. The sunrise is beautiful after a night like this don't you think, Ramuro. Ramuro didn't respond. Izuko. Ramuro. Everyone looked at Ramuro face flat on the ground. Izuko. Ramuro. Tanjiro. Brother. Aijiro. 
Tsujikuni. They continued their cries of worry over him, but they went unheard Ramuro was too tired to hear anything. Ramuro. Damn I really pushed this body to the limit on this fight I'm exhausted, I keep forgetting that this body has human limitations now dot dot dot, but I guess that's not so bad it simply reminds me that deep down inside I'm still human after all. Sugi. At the infinity castle Daki was wondering why they were summoned. Daki. Why did Lord Muzin summon us like this, it can't be that someone out there actually managed to kill an upper rank. She reached the center where everyone else was. Dama. My Daki what a pleasure seeing you here. Daki, nice to see you Dama. Dama. Oh I must say though I am quite worried I haven't seen my buddy Akaza it's not like him to be so late. Daki scoffed. Daki. He really should learn to be punctual such inaccuracies are exactly why he must have been defeated by that brat, I'd never let something like that happen to me. Dama said nothing he simply started shivering at the thought of that day he was nearly killed, Daki noticed his silence. Daki. Oh right come to think of it, you were also nearly defeated by the girl of her same family weren't you? Dama said nothing he simply walked off seemingly ignoring Daki this action annoyed her, but she let it go. Time passed and soon Muzin and the other moons arrived, he announced that Akaza was killed, this news shocked everyone Dama was in tears, but said nothing Muzin then raised the ranks of every moon below 3, his fears only amplified, so he gave the moons even more blood, but just enough so that combined they were still nothing to him. Muzin. From now on I don't want anyone slacking off, and whoever kills the Tsujikinus will be granted one request from me within reason, their deaths are priority number one. Dama. Even over the blue spider lily and the Abayashiki family's whereabouts. Yuzin. Yes, they must be disposed of as soon as possible no matter what it takes, and don't be reckless take them seriously. Upper moons. Understood. With that, the meeting ended and everyone was sent back to their original destinations. Yuzin. These damned Tsujikuni they're too strong as enemies I'd turn them into demons, but after what happened to that girl that may only work to my disadvantage, if they all became powerful demons, they may surpass me and the moons they should be disposed of as soon as possible, hopefully then I can stop feeling this fear. Later in another place, it's morning Ramuro awoke in an unfamiliar bed. Ramuro. Where am I? He sat up straight on the bed and looked around when he looked to his left, he saw Tanjiro and Nizuko, both wearing blankets they were looking at him with tears in their eyes. Ramuro. Are you guys oh? Before he could finish they both embraced him and sobbed. Ramiro. Geez calm down guys you think I was dead or something. Tanjiro looked up at his brother while he was hugging him. Tanjiro. You've been in a sleep for three weeks. Ramiro. Dot 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 oh so that's why I feel like I could drink a sea and eat a whale. Nizuko. After the battle with Akaza you passed out the Kakushi came soon for the cleanup, but Ringoku insisted on carrying you the rest of the way himself. Ramiro. I see where are we right now. Tanjiro. The flower mansion Ms. Shinobu offered to treat you personally, she diagnosed that you pushed yourself past a limit and were exhausted, it's a miracle that you were able to fight for as long as you did. Ramiro. I see I'll have to thank her later then. Ramiro looked at his nightstand and found various goods and notes. Ramiro. What's all this? Izuko. The other Hashira and Demon Slayers came by to send get well gifts and congratulations on being one of the first Hashira to defeat an upper rank. Ramiro. I see I'll have to give those a red. Ramiro's stomach rumbled. Anjiro. I'll go get you some food brother, Nizuko. And I will get tea, Ramiro. You guys don't have to. They both raised their hands, Anjiro and Nizuko. No you are still recovering you need to rest brother we'll take care of you so stay here. Before Ramiro could argue they both bolted out of the room, Ramiro. Well nice to know that they're alright in any case you can come out now, Seal. As expected of you to notice me, master, Seal then entered through the window, Ramiro. Hope you weren't too worried, Seal. I knew you'd pull through it's you after all. Seal sat on the bed on Ramiro's right. Seal. Still that's a pretty dangerous move you've created you exhausted everything to use that many breathing styles. Ramiro. It's a necessary evil still this body does have a lot of sentimental value to me, so I guess I should take care of it. Seal. Still I was more worried about master's mental state. Ramiro. Dot dot dot. Seal. It must have been hard to let go, but even harder to hear such words from them. Ramiro. It's not like anything said wasn't true I could have saved them, I could have found another way for them to become demon slayers and demons, but I didn't instead I. Seal embraced Ramuro. Seal. The fault isn't yours it's Musin's he murdered them after all. Ramuro. Dot dot dot. Seal. Don't blame yourself you knew what you needed to do to save countless lives if you regret it, you can fix it, not too much is above you. Ramuro blushed and avoided eye contact. Ramuro. WW well I guess you're right. Seal. Good and don't let it bother you I'm positive not a single one of them would blame you, Ramiro. Okay, seal. And don't push yourself the whole point is for everyone to make it out in a better state that includes you, Ramiro. Alright already no need to nag me I get it, seal. Do you, Ramiro? Yes now will you let go, seal. Dot 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 no, Ramiro. What why? Seal then pushed Ramiro down and got on top of him, seal. I think I deserve a reward for helping you out of your slumber is all, Ramiro. 
WW what why, seal. Me interfering like that in your mindscape is cheating, I broke the rules for you which lead to you saving the individual known as Kaijuro Ringoku on time, Ramiro. Dot 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 you just have an excuse for everything don't you, seal didn't answer as she got closer to his face, Ramiro put his finger on her lip, Ramiro. Look we can't at least not while well, demons are still active maybe after but not now, seal pouted, seal. And yet you were so eager to do it on mass in a dream, Ramiro avoided eye contact, Ramiro. Look ask me for something else just not this there's too much going on right now, seal paused for a bit but then she got off of her master, seal. I suppose that's fine there's only one other thing I could currently want then, Ramiro. And what's that, seal? I won't tell but you'll figure it out soon, seal disappeared from where she was standing Ramiro sighed as he looked over the notes and get well cards, Ramiro. Nice of them to get me these deep down they're all good people all the more reason for me to save them all. Ramiro was ordered to take some time off so that he could recover in that time he and his siblings decided to visit Kaijuro's home, they walked to the front yard and saw a boy with a broom sweeping the outside. Ramiro. Hello you must be Kaijuro's younger brother that he spoke about Sinjuro right? Sinjuro. Yes I'm sorry but who are you? Ramiro. I'm Ramiro Tsujikuni and these are my younger siblings Tanjiro and Nizuko. Tanjiro. Hello, Nizuko. It's a pleasure to meet you, Sinjiro. Oh forgive my lack of formalities Lord Ramiro. He said this and did a short bow, Ramiro. You don't need to be formal with me just call me Ramiro, Sinjiro. Oh okay, Ramiro. Sorry to bother you guys but is Kaijuro here, Sinjiro. Yes he's inside he just got back from a mission, Ramiro. Can we see him, Sinjiro. Of course please come in. They followed him to what looked like a living room where they sat, Sinjiro. I'll go get brother, wait here, please. Sinjiro left and closed the door, Tanjiro. What did you want to talk to Ringoku about, Ramiro? Nothing, in particular, I just wanted to visit him and thank him for carrying me back, is in here making all that racket. The trio turned to an open door and saw a man with a pot of sake tied to his wrist, he had a similar color to Ringoku, Shinjiro. Just who the hell are you three answer me or get off my property, Ramiro. I'm Ramiro Tsujikuni, and these are my siblings Tanjiro and Nizuko we're demon slayers we simply came to see Kaijiro is all. He looked at all of them, but once paying attention to Tanjiro he dropped his sake, Shinjiro. You're what dot 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 I get it now that means your sun breathing users aren't you am I right, Ramiro? Yes we do use sun breathing what of it, Shinjiro dashed toward the three seemingly hostile they all dodged behind him, Tanjiro. Why are you acting so hostile like this, Shinjiro? Despicable you intend to mock us after everything we've been through, Ramiro. Dude calm down we didn't come here looking for trouble, we just wanted to see our friend, Shinjiro. A sun breathing user would never help people like us, I know all about those earrings of yours it was in that book and that mark on your face, Izuko. Wait you know about great grandfather Yoriichi, Ramiro. It makes sense the flame Hashira of our Yoriichi's time was his good friend, he must have written about him in his journal. Shinjiro then went on about sun breathing being the first and most powerful technique and that everything else was a cheap imitation, Shinjiro. Don't get cocky just because you're sun breathing users, Ramiro. You're wrong, Shinjiro. A, Ramiro. Not a single one of the breathing styles are worthless, each one of them are used to save lives, sun breathing may be more advanced and powerful than the others, but if our grandfather thought they weren't necessarily that they were just as worthless as you say he wouldn't have bothered to create them so that his allies could fight alongside him, anyone who can master a breathing style has their own talent it's not just sun breathing, Shinjiro growled at Ramiro's statement, Shinjiro. Why you little brat, Kaijiro? Father, please cease this. Everyone looked to see Kaijiro standing at an open door with Shinjiro, Ramiro. Sorry Kaijiro didn't mean to cause trouble. Shinjiro growled as he left the room without a word. Izuko. Where's he going, Shinjiro? Probably to get more sake, Kaijiro. You'll have to forgive him ever since our mother's death he's been like this, Ramiro. As someone who knows loss I understand it's fine really I just came to talk with you and give you my thanks for carrying me the whole way, Kaijiro. Think nothing of it you were the main reason we were able to defeat him it was the least I could do. Ayajiro and Sinjiro sat down they spoke with each other about various things from favorite foods to hilarious memories this carried on until evening and they decided it was time to go Kaijiro saw them out. Kaijiro. Ramiro one more thing. Ramiro turned back to face a bowing Kaijiro. Kaijiro. Forgive me for not being able to do more I should have helped you more in that battle. Ramiro. We all did our best in that fight, but no one died, so it's all good we should all just be grateful to be alive, so don't let it bother you too much, Kaijiro. Wise words Ramiro fear not I will train myself to become even stronger so I may be able to fight on equal ground as you, Ramiro. I'm looking forward to it, Kaijiro. Oh and as for your sister she did a splendid job protecting all the passengers and helping us leave our dreams, I do not doubt that she can fight along demon slayers. All three of the Tsujikuni gave him a wide smile, Ramiro. Thank you Kaijiro that means a lot, Tanjiro. 
we'll do what we can to convince the other Hashira too. Ramuro left the Flame Mansion time past Ramuro continued to train Zenitsu and Inosuke, and they were making even more progress, despite the bumps in the road they even each went on solo missions. Zenitsu? I'll go and never complain if you just let me bring a lock of Nezuko's hair with me. Ramuro? You're lucky I still let you breathe the same air as her now go, and if I hear you making even more of a fool of yourself out there I'm giving you tougher training. Zenitsu? So heartless. Inosuke. Watch I'll kill that demon by myself and get even stronger from it. Anjiro. That's great Inosuke I'm sure you can do it. Inosuke. Of course I will. Even more, time passed once Ramuro recovered he started going on missions until he was on his way back to the flower mansion. Ramuro. Good thing the Kakushi told me that my mansion should be finished soon, that means I can sleep peacefully without having to worry about seal sneaking in my room, again I get she missed me, but that doesn't mean she needs to watch me sleep, or when she tries to get in bed with me, it's becoming harder and harder to resist her damn human hormones. Aoi. Let me go at once. Ramuro. Oh is that today forgot to keep track. Ramuro overheard all the arguing and knew what it was immediately. Tenjin. Hey cut it out get off me you brats. Ramuro. Yuzui. Tenjin. Oh great hair Ramuro. Ramuro. Dot 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 Yuzui what are you doing and please tell me it's not what it looks like. P.O. He's kidnapping those girls please hurry and rescue them Mr. Ramuro. Tenjin. Why you, shut your mouth. In a flash the girls were all back at the doorstep of the mansion Ramuro was holding Neho on his head and Aoi in his arms she blushed at being carried. Tenjin. He's so fast I had little time to react. Ramuro. Tenjin I'm sorry, but no matter how I look at it this looks bad so for your sake please explain before I have to tell Shinobu. Tenjin. Now now calm down let's not do anything too crazy. Ramiro. This coming from the guy that's kidnapping little girls. Tenjin. Listen I was taking those two because I need female core members for a mission and I don't need permission to take anyone who's not at Suguko. Ramiro. And I thought Jayame was the blind one look at the girl you were about to take that's on my head, can't you see she's not even a member of the core, I doubt she's even in her double digits. Tenjin took a good look at her. Tenjin. Dot 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 oh yeah never mind then. Ramiro. Dot 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 look how about I and my Tsuguko go with you instead. Tenjin. Your Tsuguko. Anjiro, Nizuko, Zenitsu and Inosuke jumped from the bushes as well. Ramiro. These are my comrades and don't look down on them for a second I've put them through such hellish training, it makes hell look like a campfire they will accompany us. Tenjin thought it over for a bit. Tenjin. Well I suppose it could be worse, but if you're coming with me on this mission, then know that I'm in charge. Ramiro. Fine just don't get a big head about it. Oh if it's women you need then I'll happily volunteer. Everyone looked to the entrance and saw Seal standing there nonchalantly. Tenjin. Sure if you want but my rule still stands. Ramuro. I'm sorry will you all give us a minute. Ramuro said this while dragging Seal by her wrist out of earshot. Ramuro. What are you doing? Seal. I already told you darling I'm coming with you both. Ramuro. Okay, but why though? Seal. Because we haven't been able to spend much time together since becoming Hashira and I want to change that. Ramuro. Isn't three Hashira crowd? Seal. Oh are you saying you'd prefer it be just the two of us I'm fine with that. Ramuro. You know that's not what I meant, things will be too easy if there are three Hashira. Seal. Tough because this is what I want as my reward. Ramuro. So you're cashing it in. Seal nodded. Ramuro sighed. Ramuro. Fine just try to focus on the task at hand. Seal. Of course I know don't forget I am the nature Hashira after all. Ramuro. Yeah I know. Seal. Good then let's go. Seal skipped away. Ramuro. This is gonna be a long arc. The entertainment district. The group was in rickshaw and Jiro Zenitsu and Inosuke were riding together. Ramuro was about to ride with Seal, but Nezuko sat in between them. Ramuro was grateful. Tenjin was riding by himself. Ramuro. You guys better stay in the carts because if I have to go get you you better hope I don't find you. Zenitsu and Inosuke sat up straight. Zenitsu. Normally I would be happy to be in a place like this where women make the first move, but honestly all I want to look at is Nezuko. Zenitsu stared at her and blushed deeply until his eyes met with Ramuro, who pointed his two fingers at his eyes, and then at Zenitsu, he looked away to Tanjiro, who was also sitting beside him with a menacing aura. Zenitsu looked down nervously, Seal was pouting as well. Seal. I know what I'll have to do while here, so I was hoping to get some alone time with Darling, but she keeps getting in the way. She then noticed Nezuko was waving at Zenitsu who waved back, and Ramuro shot him an intense glare. Seal. Oh now there's a genius idea hey Tanjiro would you like to swap seats with me? Ramuro looked at her questioningly. Tanjiro. Sure I wouldn't mind. Seal. Don't miss me too much, Darling. They both simultaneously jumped into each other's carriages. Ramuro. What is she up to? Seal. Hey Zenitsu let's have a chat. Zenitsu. Okay ma'am. Seal was talking with Zenitsu he started blushing at every word he seemed interested which made Seal grin. Ramiro. Well whatever she's leaving me alone for now so I should just appreciate it while I can. They all made it to the Wisteria house where they sat and waited for Tenjin to explain the mission. Tenjin. 
Listen up guys once you're in the entertainment district, you should try to seek out my wives, I'll search for any info on the demons, Ramiro. Alright we'll see if we can find them, Seal took a sip of her tea and then nodded, Zenitsu. This is completely ridiculous, Denjin. Huh, Zenitsu. You're joking right how dare you order us to waste our time finding a bride for you, Denjin. What when did I ever ask for something like that, Zenitsu. Shut up I'm not done talking to you, Anjiro. Zenitsu, please, Ramuro. Zenitsu sit down now, Zenitsu sat down, Ramuro. Right we never mentioned this, but Tenjin is a shinobi and ninja and among them, polygamy is a common practice he has three wives, Zenitsu. Did you say wives and three, three, three wives, there's no way how did you of all people manage to get three wives is this some kind of sick joke, Tenjin punched Zenitsu in the stomach, Izuko. Zenitsu are you alright, seal. Yuzui you should know better than to strike someone else's Tsuguko. She said this as she continued to drink her tea. Ramiro took a bun that was in a bowl and ate it. Ramiro. I don't mind. Enjin then explained his plan to have them investigate the three houses where each of them disappeared to find his wives and get intel on the demons. Inasuk. They're probably all dead if they stopped writing. Enjin then punched Inasuk in the stomach. Ramiro. I let that one slide as well that was very insensitive. Ramiro ate the last bun and gulped down his tea. Ramiro. Alright Nazuko, Seal, and I should disguise ourselves and enter the brothels, the rest of you can search for clues we'll report to you guys by crow. Denjin. Not a bad idea I honestly at first thought you were a girl till someone told me. Seal spat out her tea while Tanjiro and Nazuko hid behind her. Ramiro stood up menacingly and punched Tenjin in the stomach. Zenitsu. I have been avenged, Tanjiro. I'm afraid it wasn't for you Ramiro hates it when anyone brings up his feminine look, Nazuko. I remember the day when he and I were out shopping in town, and we were both flirted with by two guys who said we were some pretty sisters, to this day I don't think they can walk, seal. Nice to know he toned down from taking that personally I guess family life really has made him softer, they had no trouble entering the brothels they all got substantial pay for them, Ramiro. You better not keep all the money you got for yourself, Tenjin. Got it, Ramiro. Also dot 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 take care of my Tsuguko they can be a handful, but they got talent, and don't be afraid to trust Tanjiro he's a good kid I promise I'll find your wives, Tenjin, I will dot 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 thank you Ramiro, Ramiro nodded, Tenjin. Also that's a nice look on you, Ramiro. What was that, Tenjin? Nothing see ya, Tenjin bolted off with Tanjiro's Initsu and Inasuke, Ramiro. This is gonna be a long arc, at the Ajimoto house, seal. This is by far the worst experience I've had I'd rather fight in the Tenma war again than be here, woman. She may have been expensive, but for a girl like her, I would have paid double that amount, she's perfect such a beauty by the time I'm through with her, she'll be the number one woman in the entire district, seal. Do you really think so who the hell do you think you are my beauty is for my master, and no one else no one else is fit to touch me such arrogant lower creatures, woman. Yes trust me all the men will want you once I'm through with you, seal. Wow that's great I'll be counting on you I couldn't give an Armosaurus's ass about that all I want is for master to look at me with lust, woman. But I can tell that's not what you want, you want the man you love to look at you like that, seal. Hush he's oddly perceptive, woman. Don't worry once I'm done with you he'll come running to buy you back, seal's eyes widened at the thought, Ramiro. Seal, I can't believe I was apart from you for so long please let me take you back, seal. Of course master, I will always belong to you, Ramiro. Thank you now please let me praise you for hours on end, seal. Well since you insist I can't deny you, master, seal snapped back to reality, seal. Right let's do this, at the Kaigoku house, everyone was crowding Nezuko she was overtaken by this and she wasn't used to such treatment, though she did try to be nice to them all after a short time they already started calling her big sister which made her happy, at the Takedo house, Ramiro was stitching something up while alone with his thoughts, Ramiro. It seems no matter where I go I'll still be treated like a girl, and here I was hoping to avoid that life still if I Nezuko and Seal become top ranks, we'll have access to all the info, and we can probably save Tenjin's wives and find Daki sooner. Ramiro suddenly stopped what he was doing. Ramiro. Wait I should have just gone to the house Daki was in then I could have found her ASAP and gotten rid of this stupid mission already damn it. Earl 1. Ramiro do you have a minute? Ramiro. Yeah sure what do you need? Ramiro adjusted his voice to sound more feminine. Earl 1. Sorry to bother you, but we're short-staffed could you help carry these up the stairs, Ramiro. No problem I can do this easily just leave it to me, Earl 2. Thank you Ramiro nice to have a hard worker around, Ramiro carried all the items in one go with no effort, Earl 2. My my that new girl is rather burly, Earl 1. Indeed, thanks to Ramiro's charisma he was able to get a lot of information, and he was easily able to pass off as Suma's younger sister, since they did have similar hair colors, Ramiro. Finding her shouldn't be too hard, and luckily since I'm apparently so beautiful they've put such a high price on my head that no one can touch me gives me a lot of time to investigate at the Ajimoto house, seal. 
I'll investigate Makio's room it shouldn't be hard to find her, I remember what she looks like from earlier meetings, might as well draw the demon out now and get this over with then I can go on a date with Master Aki's belt. Now then answer me who was it that you were writing all these little letters to what was your name, oh I remember it's Makio isn't it? Makio simply grunted, Aki's belt. Answer me at once Makio. Suddenly the window burst open with seal busting through it. Seal. Taste the sunshine mother effer. Aki's belt. Jiaiaia. The belt burnt up on the spot. Makio was let go from the belts as they incinerated. Seal. Makio you alright. Makio. I'm fine. Wait seal is that you? Seal. Yeah but just tell me everything you know while we get you out of here and back to Tenjin he's been worried. Makio. Right let's go I have a lot to report. At the Kaigoku house. Mizuko. It's quite nice here everyone is so friendly I'm glad they like me it feels like we're all a family. Suddenly Nizuko heard crying. Nizuko. Is someone hurt? Nizuko went to investigate the sound and found a girl crying in a messy room. Nizuko. Hey are you alright? The girl looked at her and continued to cry. Nizuko. Hey it's alright don't worry it'll be fine. She gave the girl a hug which seemed to calm her down. Nizuko. It's alright a girl as pretty as you shouldn't be crying right now, so wipe those tears. Nizuko suddenly felt the presence of a demon. Aki. You there what do you think you're doing in my room? Nizuko slowly turned around and had a poker face. Nizuko. Forgive me for intruding I simply heard a girl crying in here and saw that this room was a mess I simply came here to see if things were okay. Aki. Damn it she just has to be this pretty so this is the new girl everyone has been going on about as if I'm letting her steal my spotlight I'll have to teach her her place later. You're right this room is still in shambles isn't it if I'm not mistaken I told you to clean it up. The girl looked up at her terrified Daki grabbed her ear. Daki. Shut your mouth stop all that screaming and start cleaning you brat. Girl. I'm sorry please forgive me Warren. The girl's ear began to bleed. Girl. I'll clean it all up just please let me go. Izuko grabbed Daki's hand and lifted it away from the girl. Daki. She's strong. Izuko. Why don't you let me do that for you no point asking them I can handle your stuff just fine. Izuko said this while glaring at her. Daki. I can't seriously be intimidated by this brat can I know it can't be. Daki yanked her hand back to her. Daki. Fine, but I want this room spotless by the time I return got that, Nizuko. Crystal clear. Aki left, girl. Thank you very much, Nizuko. It's fine don't worry I'll handle things here, girl. Okay, she left, Nizuko. There's no doubt about it in my mind she's not as strong as Akaza or Dauma, but she's most definitely an upper rank I'll have to mention this in my report immediately, Aki. With that much strength that she's clearly not just a girl she's a demon, but she was much too kind to those girls she must be the demon that Musin spoke about, if what my lord said was correct, they all travel together great come all of you, I'd be more than happy to devour every single one of you, seal is currently sulking in a corner, seal. I don't get it it doesn't make sense after everything I've done I'm better than her in every way, so why why her and not me, is she still down about that, Ermuro? I figured something like this would happen, which is exactly why I never told her, so why did you? Calm before the storm, at the Kayagoku house, Izuko. If that's all then I'll be in my room, girl. Okay see you later big sis. Izuko blushed at being called that as she waved and then closed the door, Izuko. There's no doubt that she's onto me she must be an upper rank what's most concerning is that all these girls are in danger and she must have killed so many. Izuko gritted her teeth and clenched her fists, Izuko. I will never forgive her, Zenitsu. Nizuko are you okay? Nizuko looked at her window and saw Zenitsu standing there in uniform. Nizuko. I'm fine don't worry about me. Zenitsu. Dot 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 are you sure you sound angry? Nizuko. Dot 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 it's just the demon in hiding that I found is the type I dislike the most she's most definitely at this house. She's the warren you need to contact Yuzui immediately. Zenitsu. Right we should all get ready to attack her then huh? Zenitsu shook at the thought of fighting again. Nizuko took his hand. Nizuko. It'll be fine. Zenitsu looked at her eyes wide and then nodded. Zenitsu. Right will you be leaving now, Izuko? I should stay and keep an eye on her go ahead and report this to Yuzui. Zenitsu. Okay be careful, Izuko. You too. Zenitsu left. Daybreak arrived everyone met on the roof to discuss what they discovered. Tenjin. Thank you again for saving Makio Seal I'm in your debt, Seal. Oh don't worry I'll have you make it up to me after our mission, Tanjiro. How is she anyway, Tenjin? I told her to stay at the Wisteria Mansion for now so she could rest, Ermuro. That's good to hear, but back to the task at hand, Nizuko are you positive the upper moon is at your house, Nizuko. I'm positive she had the same aura as the upper moons we faced back then, Tenjin. Do you have any idea what we're working with here, Nizuko? I know for a fact it's not the upper three it's something below, Ermuro. Though with Akaza's death, there may have been a rapid promotion, Tenjin. So that means we're dealing with an upper rank that's 3-6, Ermuro. The six spot may be vacant with a rapid promotion, but yeah and odds are Musins made them as strong as possible, Tenjin. I see then this may not be such an easy task then, Seal. 
After I found Makio I noticed a tunnel that could lead to where the demon is hiding and keeping its victims, Tenjin. It's highly likely that they're still there then we should save the hostages immediately, Seal. Tenjin is sure we need to be the ones to fight off against that upper moon we'll need you to come with us, Tenjin. You and Ramiro are far stronger than me I'll go to the tunnel, Ramiro. Tenjin, Tenjin. Dot dot dot. Izuko put her hand on Tenjin's shoulder, Izuko. We won't stop you from saving your wives Tenjin should come with us, we don't know whether the demon will be there or not, Zenitsu scoffed, Ramiro. Dot 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 it's this simple the sooner he saves them the sooner he can come back to help us, Seal. Fine I'm certain darling and I can handle it by ourselves regardless, Anjiro. I'll go with Seal and big brother in the meantime, Seal. Here I drew the location of the underground base on this map you guys should be able to find it from there, Tenjin. Thank you, Ramiro. Alright then it settled Seal, Tanjiro, and I will search for the demon meanwhile the rest of you go save the supposed hostages. Everyone nodded in agreement they then each disappeared from the roof. At the Takedo house, Ramiro met with the Warren Kanatsu, Ramiro. Excuse me Kanatsu, Kanatsu. Oh Ramiro, it's you, Ramiro. Sorry for intruding, but I've got a favor to ask I'll be leaving the Takedo house after this can you give the owner my payment for lodging? Ramiro handed her a massive bag of money, Kanatsu. What's going on and why are you dressed like that and um, don't you think this is a bit much, Ramiro? Maybe but I think it's necessary I had to dress as a woman for my mission, but I'm actually a guy. Hinatsu looks slightly surprised. Hinatsu? Really you must truly be a master of disguise your voice even fit perfectly, Ramiro. Honestly I just look like this naturally it's not something I'm really proud of though, and I have been practicing voice impersonations. Hinatsu? I'm sure you have your reasons were you worried about Suma for real or was that a lie, Ramiro? Well we aren't related, but she works for the same organization as me, and I was asked by a friend to find her by her husband, and as for everyone that vanished, we're also here to save them. Hinatsu? Why thank you I think I needed to hear that because you see I'm actually leaving this district for good tomorrow, Ramiro. That's nice to hear, but it's a shame it couldn't happen sooner, because I'm certain things are about to get crazy here, you must be worried about those you leave behind, but don't worry, I promise everything will be alright, I may not look it, but I'm most likely one of the strongest humans you'll ever see I'll protect everyone and I'm not alone. Hinatsu smiled at Ramiro's comforting words. Ramiro. Well I'll be going now I wish you the best. Hinatsu. Thank you Ramiro best of luck to you, and I'm counting on you to save Suma. Ramiro. Right, Ramiro then left the room and closed the door Kanatsu got back to what she was doing until she heard movement, Kanatsu. Oh did you forget something, Aki? No but thank you although I really should devour you before I do forget since tonight happens to be your last night here you can't leave without saying goodbye. Aki licked her lips as her belt began to surround Kanatsu, Ramiro. Slime breathing second form. Azathoth and Beelzebub, Void's Hellspin. Aki was drawn in out the window along with her belt to Ramiro, as he slashed her diagonally, she split in two behind him, Ramiro. Get everyone out of here evacuate away don't worry about me I'll handle her just go. Hinatsu? Oh okay. Hinatsu ran downstairs to spread the news. Aki? Thanks for coming you're a Hashira ride I've been waiting for you, that's an unusual breathing style I've never seen it before. Ramiro turned his head sideways to his left as she put herself back together. Aki? I hope that that's not all you got though. Ramiro faced her and put up a sword stance. Ramiro? Of course not I just needed to get you away from them, but know that we're a good distance I won't have to worry. Meanwhile, the others were already in the tunnel they easily defeated the belt demon, keeping all the people hostage including Suma and Hinitsuru. Tenjin. Hinitsuru, Suma I'm sorry I took so long you both look as flashy as ever. Izuko healed all the survivors. Tenjin. Will you be alright Nizuko? Nizuko. Yeah I made sure to eat a lot before I left I can go the whole night in any case I'm done here, let's go help the others. Tenjin looked at his wives they gave him a signal that they would be fine, in which he nodded too in response. Tenjin. Alright then let's hurry because things are about to get real flashy. Meanwhile, Ramiro. Are you sure you want to do this surely you being an upper moon would know I nearly killed Kakishibo upper one. Aki. I'm well aware and if I fought you earlier I may have been worried, but we've all recently received even more blood from our lord who you have angered greatly, and for that, I shall eliminate you still I suppose I should thank you. Her belt surrounded Ramiro. Aki. Once I've eliminated you my lord would be greatly pleased. Seal. Nature breathing first form. Whirlwind slash. Suddenly all of Daki's belt was diced into several pieces, and a figure appeared behind her was Seal. Aki. Oh so there's another are you Hashira too. Seal. Shut up I loathe speaking to weak sluts. Aki. Come again how dare you speak to. Before she could finish Daki's head fell on her lap. Aki. Huh, Ramiro. Wait that swordsmanship looked familiar don't tell me you, Seal. Yes I did base it off a game you spent a lot of time playing in your other life, I figured you'd be impressed, Ramiro. Alright I guess it is pretty nice. Seal's eyes lit up at those words, Seal. Praise me more, Ramiro. Not now, Seal. 
Right I suppose we still need to find that upper rank, Aki. Hey get back here you brutes you have the gall to behead me and walk away you're going to pay for this, Ramiro. Seal can you, seal. S-H-H-H-H-H-H-H, darling, do you hear that, Aki? You better not be ignoring M. Aki's head and was diced into multiple pieces her body made an incomprehensible noise apparently trying to speak, seal. How must have been the wind, Ramiro? Dot 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 really, seal. What, Ramiro? You and I both know that wouldn't work, seal. I know but it is quite satisfying, Ramiro rolled his eyes, Ramiro. So you do have a specific target don't you, seal. It's your imagination, master, Ramiro. Anyways phase 2 should be beginning shortly. Aki's body was banging the roof, and suddenly a new figure appeared from out of her body. Seal wasted no time in striking it. A small explosion could be seen when the dust settled Seal had her back turned to Jairo, as he was holding a partly torn Daki, with only one arm the other was cut off. Jairo? Come on now there's no use crying about it, you know can't you even manage to reattach your own head by yourself well, you haven't always been the sharpest tool in the shed, have you, Seal? Look can we get this over with it's time to die now you and your weak whore of a sister. Jairo said nothing as he stood up and grew back his arm he turned around to face Seal with a furious look in his eyes. Ramiro. Well looks like things are about to get real flashy. Meanwhile, Tenjin. Why do I get the feeling someone just took something from me? Battle against the upper five. Jairo. There have been a lot of Hashira that came our way, but none have stood out to me as much as you two, you're both tall, have nice long hair and so much strength as well as an unflinching resolve to do what you think is right, not to mention you two must be very close, I can see the affection for each other in your eyes, and you were even able to cut my arm off, even though I was doing my best to evade, Jairo began scratching himself, Jairo. I bet you both must be pretty popular I envy you, oh how I envy you both, Jairo scratched more intensely he began scratching through his own skin, Jairo. Would you two mind just dropping dead and in the most agonizing way at that like being skinned alive or maybe even having those bellies of yours slid open? Ramiro raised his sword at Jairo. Ramiro. You gonna keep complaining or have you coped with your skill issue and are ready to fight yet? Seal. Right it's time we finish off your whore of a sister. Jairo. Dot 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 am I going deaf or did you seriously call my sister a whore that's unforgivable I'll make you both feel all the pain she felt I am a firm believer in vengeance, after all because my name is Jairo. Several flying blood slashes were sent their way they each parried each of them. Ramiro. I'll take the brother you take the sister. Seal. Fine by me. They split off to each other's targets. Ramiro. Sun breathing six form. Burning bones, summer sun. Ramiro cut through all of Jairo's slashes and began clashing with him for the while they seemed even. Meanwhile, Seal. Nature breathing second form. Nightjar slash. Seal closed the distance they were both about to cut their heads off. Ramiro. I've read the manga and watched the and I'm countless times this was one of my favorite arcs, so I know all their tricks. Seal. Master's knowledge is mine as well. Suddenly Ramiro noticed belt slashes, and Seal noticed blood slashes sneaking up on them, both they countered Jairo, and Daki used this opportunity to group together. Jairo. The thing about us is we fight together and two is better than one you know. Ramiro. Hey what a coincidence. Seal jumped behind Ramiro and put her hands on his shoulders. Seal. So do we. The duos clashed with each other despite this being their first time fighting together as demon slayers Ramiro and Seal were in perfect sync with each other, still they were even with their adversaries. Seal. Third form. Ashina cross. Seal sheathed then unsheathed her blade in movements that tore through all of Jairo and Daki's defenses. Ramiro. Sun breathing eighth form. Solar heat haze. Ramiro used this as an opportunity to strike them both down. Jairo. Not happening. Jairo parried his strike with one side he then lunged his blade at Ramiro. Ramiro. Shit I don't have enough time to dodge. Suddenly two swords got in the way. Tenjin. Need a hand. Tanjiro. Sorry it took so long to evacuate the area, but we've got you brother. Ramiro looked at Daki as she was fighting the Zuko, Inasuke, and a sleeping Zenitsu. Daki. Oh it's you the brat from earlier looks like I was right you are the girl that our lord spoke of. Izuko. I don't want to hear anything you have to say unless it's sorry. Daki. What, Izuko? I want you to apologize to the girl whose ear you pulled, and to all those that suffered at your hands do that, and you will not suffer. Aki became irritated by her comment. Aki? Who do you think you are that you can order me around you brat? Aki's belt surrounded Nizuko, but they were all swiftly caught by Nizuko with only one hand. Aki? Wajaya. Aki was pulled towards Nizuko, and she engulfed her fist in flames and punched Aki in the face, sending her flying away she pulled the belt again, and this time used a flaming kick to send her back this action repeated several times. Nizuko. Zenitsu Inasuke. Zenitsu. Right, Inasuke. On it. As Nizuko kicked Aki again straight toward Inasuke and Zenitsu as they prepared to decapitate her, but she simply softened her neck, so their attack slid off, but it still cut her face. Aki. 
Get off of me you brats. She sliced around her belt which forced Zenitsu and Inosu to keep their distance while cutting her belt so she can be free of Nezuko's grasp. Aki backed away and glared at her adversaries. Aki. Over the years I've met countless annoying and hideous people, but for some reason, you seem to get on my nerves the most. An eye grew on Daki's forehead. Jayudro and Daki. We'll make sure to make each and every one of you suffer and die in agony we have killed off anyone who's ever crossed you us anyone who's ever slighted you us we're going to slash through your gullets just like we did to all who came before you. Ramiro. Be cautious Tanjiro there may be three Hashira here to assist, but this guy is tough. Tanjiro. Worry not brother after all you're the one who's been training me after all. Tenjin. Right let's defeat both of them in a flashy way. Seal. Slaughtering an enemy with my darling nothing could be more romantic. Ramiro smirked. Ramiro. Right then let's show them both the power of the Hashira. They all darted toward him. Ramiro and Tanjiro. Twin sun breathing second form. Sagittarius's clear sky. Both Ramiro and Tanjiro prepared to strike him from above. Seal. Nature breathing fourth form. Hi monk. Seal leaped towards him ready to attack his right along with Yuzui also preparing to slash him on his left. Jaidro. Blood demon art. Rampant arc rampage. He deflected all of their advances. Ramiro. He was able to dodge all of us so easily has he gotten that much stronger from using weight, this feels like something else but what? Jayudro. Those two were powerful, and now there's you two as well good for you good for you. Jayudro began commenting on how strong tall and attractive Tenjin was claiming he must have been born with talent. Jayudro. I was envious before, but now, but I'm so jealous right now all I can think about is tearing you to shreds. Tenjin. Born with talent you think I look like someone with any talent to boast of if someone like me gives that impression, then you're more out of touch than I thought. Jayudro. Huh. Ramiro. Yuzui. Tenjin. You may be centuries old, but if you've been stuck in this district then your ignorance to the real world makes sense. You have no idea this country of ours, it's giant, it's full of people who can blow your mind, some are a mystery they can pick up a sword and become a Hashira in two months. Tenjin then looked at Ramiro and Seal. Tenjin. For others, it takes less than a week. Tenjin then looks at Tanjiro. Tenjin. Some aren't even Hashira, and yet their power seems just as limitless and out of reach to someone like me, yet you're saying I'm special what a load of crap, do you have any idea just how many lives have slipped through my fingers? Tanjiro. Mr. Yuzui. Ramiro. Believe it or not the grass seems greener Tenjin even with all this power dot dot dot. Ramiro flashed to his fallen family and Shizu. Ramiro. There's still too many that I can't save that's why the core isn't about one person. Seal. We all do our part regardless of our differences in strength between each other, we each do what we can to save lives and inspire others, Ramiro and Seal. Because that's what it means to be a Hashira. Tenjin looked them in the eyes shocked by their words. Tenjin. Harite talent or not, I'm still a Hashira so I'll do my duty till its flashy end, Ramiro. Right. They all charged a Tenjin together Jayudra was holding his own, but barely, Ramiro. Even with mathematician and magic sense he's becoming harder to read it's like he's somehow becoming stronger with this fight what's going on, seal. I wish I could tell you, but my eternal knowledge is still sealed, Ramiro. Has Musin really given him that much more strength? Ramiro and Tanjiro continued various forms of sun breathing, together their powerful attacks left considerable damage on him but not enough, and it always seemed as if his neck was getting even more out of reach, Ramiro. Tanjiro let's use that. Tanjiro looked at his brother with wide eyes, Tanjiro. But brother you said, Ramiro. This is an emergency seal Tenjin give you a some time and space. Tenjin. Right, seal. On it, darling, Ramiro and Tanjiro. Twin sun breathing 13th form. Apollo. Tanjiro and Ramiro executed every move and twin sun breathing from the 1st to the 11th, breaking all of Jayudro's defenses until it was time to finish him with the 12th, but suddenly, Ramiro. Blah. Ramiro coughed up blood and fell to his knees. Tanjiro. Brother. Tanjiro was distracted by this he was then kicked to the side into an abandoned house by Jayudro. Ramiro. Tanjiro. Ramiro felt a sudden pain in his body. Ramiro. What how it can't be I'm certain I was never slashed. He then looked up and noticed Seal and Tenjin seeming weaker as well. Ramiro. Wait it's all so clear now. Ramiro coughed up more blood as he looked at a smiling Jayudro. Jayudro. That look on your face you figured it out yet. Ramiro. From the very beginning dot 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 you dot 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 poison dot 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 all of us. Jayudro. That's right ever since Lord our Lord gave you us more power I've thought of more ways to fight which led to me, creating an undetectable gas that slowly poisons your insides making you weaker and weaker till you can barely stand you should see how pathetic all you Hashira look on the ground on your knees and after all that talk about being special. Jayudro then walked up to Ramiro's sides in hand, ignoring seal and tension as they were on their knees. Jayudro. Since you were the one who caused the most pain to my sister, I think I'll put you through a hell of pain then let you watch as everyone here is slaughtered as you can do nothing about it. Ramiro tried to move, but the poison was catching up with him. Jayudro. I think I'll start by cutting off those arms of yours then you'll be truly useless. Ramiro. 
Shit I don't have the time to adapt to the poison, yet I need to move move move. The scythe was right in front of his eye, a loud slashing sound could be heard as Ramiro was covered in blood. Ramiro? What's going on I can't see and I don't feel anything did the poison make me numb? Did he gouge out my eye? Am I dead? Dot 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 no. I'm not I know what bleeding out feels like I know what death itself feels like, and this isn't it so then why don't I feel anything? Seal. I'm glad you're okay dot 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 master. Ramiro's opened his eyes and to the horrid sight Seal had been slashed in the back protecting Ramiro he was covered in her blood. Ramiro. Seal wait where is Jayudro? Ramiro looked to see Jayudro had stabbed Inasuke in the chest while trying to escape with Daki's head Jayudro and Daki were overwhelming Nezuko and Zenitsu until the demon siblings unleashed a devastating attack that destroyed the surrounding buildings and left Nezuko sliced to pieces as she tried to protect Zenitsu the slash was reached them and the building was beginning to fall on them until they were both pushed away from the blast by none other than Yuzui. Tenjin. They need you two more than me. Ramiro stretched out his hand while the other was holding Seal. Tenjin. Like I said you two are special. Ramiro. Tension. The ruble fell on tension. Ramiro. No this isn't supposed to happen I'm supposed to save everyone it can't end like this. Ramiro landed on his head which led to him blacking out. Ramiro. It dot 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 can't dot 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 end like this. True strength. Ramiro was in the room he was using at the flower mansion, writing down his report for his last mission. Ramiro. Finally done it's getting late, I guess I should turn in don't know when I'll be able to sleep again. Ramiro walked to his bed and began to lie down. Ramiro. Time for a good night's sleep, Seal. Good night, Master. Ramiro. Good night, Seal. Dot dot dot. Wait a minute. Ramiro turned around and saw Seal spooning him. Ramiro. I thought I asked you not to do this. How many times does this make? Ramiro said this while trying to push her off with his hand on her face. Seal. 136. Ramiro. You actually kept counting. Ramiro finally managed to push her off him. Seal. You're so cruel, Master. Ramiro. Look, this isn't any easier on me, but you know we can't right now. Seal pouted. Ramiro. Look don't get the wrong idea it's not that I don't want to it's just. Dot dot. Seal. Now that we're both human there's more to consequences to certain actions. Ramiro. You know and yet you persist you're never gonna give up on this aren't you. Seal. You know me the same way I know you so you should know that no matter what happens and what I'll have to do what I need to wait for. I'll always love you more than anything you don't need to say it back because I already know the answer. Ramiro. Dot 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 it's just there's too much on my mind to get into it. Seal. Then I suppose we'll simply have to make haste to complete our quest and when that happens, Ramiro. I know maybe then can't promise I'll leave anything permanent though, Seal. I understand and it's like I said, no matter what happens, I'll always love you, Master, Ramiro. Seal a dream now, whatever I need to find Tanjiro and Nezuko, Nezuko should be fine, but I don't know how the poison will affect Tanjiro. Ramiro awoke to the district in complete flames, Seal's body was on top of him, Ramiro with haste, took off his Hayori and stopped her bleeding, Ramiro. Seal. He embraced her. Ramiro. I got sloppy and arrogant. I can't let this happen again. Thankfully I've got one more trick that should work. Ramiro put Seal's body on his back. Ramiro. It's at least a good thing that we evacuated everyone so they could escape. Ramiro closed his eyes and focused. Ramiro. There they are and wait what's that dot 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 I see if I can reach that then maybe. Dot dot. Ramiro opened his eyes. Jairo. Well I'm impressed I'm shocked you're still alive after that you're one lucky guy well not that you have anything going for you aside from being lucky that is. Ramiro looked behind him and saw Daki sitting on a roof holding a limbless Nezuko in her belt. Jairo. It really is a shame, you know every one of your friends is dead or burning under the ruble right now, it only took a single thrust to that boar's heart, meanwhile that yellow haired boy is trapped under the ruble, so I think I'll leave him there till he dies squirming around like an insect, how disgraceful is that, and that other Hashira he really was all bark and no bide, as he's sharing the same fate, except his heart stop must have been the poison that finished him off now he's dead like the others, same fate is with that red haired boy he called you brother, didn't he he's your younger brother, yet you couldn't protect him, or that poor sister of yours, it's it's even more pathetic that the girl that seems to care about you so much has also been slashed, you may have stopped her bleeding, but can you stop the poison in her I wonder. Even after all that talk about being special you're all disgraceful utterly disgraceful, you all might be utterly disgraceful in your own ways, but you're by far the worst I've been told that that demon girl love is also your sister, it's obvious to me either way. Ramiro. Dot 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 yeah and what's it to ya? Ramiro coughed up more blood Jayudro started laughing at Ramiro. Jayudro. It's just as I thought then you really are a disgrace huh imagine being so useless you can't protect your younger siblings. Ramiro glared at him when he made that statement Jayudro stuck his scythes in the ground. Jayudro. Well I guess it can't be helped it makes sense that you're weaker than your sister, considering she's a demon it only makes sense she's stronger than you, even so I can't help but see you as a disgrace. Jayudro patted Ramiro's head. Jayudro. 
if you're really their big brother you should be protecting them, especially that younger sister of yours, rather than leaving her to fight for you coward. Jayudro then held Ramiro's hand. Jayudro? Devotedly with this hand you see. Jayudro broke two of his fingers Ramiro winced in pain. Jayudro? But I've got to know how do you feel after all this, being the only one to survive so disgracefully. Jayudro said this while slapping his head he then grabbed him by the hair and shook his head as he continued to insult him. Jayudro? What are you going to do I don't know about you, but I'd love to see you try and cut off my head with that useless battered disgraceful human body of yours come on come on come on come on. Ramiro. Dot dot dot. Jayudro? Nothing to say has despair really hit you that hard. Ramiro. Dot 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 you know you're a pretty decent guy Jayudro. Jayudro. Huh, Ramiro. You know what it's like to have little in your life worth protecting so much, so that it makes everything matter less, we've got that in common, I honestly believe if we were all on the same side, we could have been good friends. Jayudro. Where are you going with this flattery won't save your lives you know, Ramiro. And you're a genius on the battlefield that's clear you were able to outsmart all of us, but you made one mistake that cost you your victory. Jayudro. Oh are you actually gonna try it go on take your best shot. Ramiro raised his right hand and punched Jayudro leaving a massive hole in his chest. Jayudro. Blah. Ramiro. You really pissed me off no one hurts my love and gets away with it. Ramiro used the momentum of the spin to turn around and pick up his sword, he aimed to slash Jayudro's neck, though he blocked it. Jayudro. Die you damn brat. Ramiro blocked his attack with another sword. Jayudro. Where did that come from wait he walked toward this ruble before he noticed me deliberately I saw a bird carrying something but didn't pay it any mind it must have been his crow giving him another weapon and this strength was he seriously holding back this whole time why would he do that but it doesn't matter because dot dot Ramiro the poison's still in me I got impatient the moment I could move I attacked but still I needed a bit more time to adapt to it but I don't know if I can hold off against him at this rate it doesn't matter I'll just have to give it everything I've got and more plus some slight cheating. Ramiro's blades were closing and his strength forced Jayudro to have his arms at his neck if he cut through he could finish him now. Aki. Hey what the hell are you doing don't get beheaded by someone like him. The belts approached Ramiro. Ramiro. Come on Zenitsu. The belts were nearing his face. Ramiro. I can't believe I'm gonna do this Zenitsu if we win this I'll let you go on a date with Nezuko. Zenitsu. Sensei Ramiro created this one in a million chance I'm going to slash through her no matter what. Ramiro continued to clash with Jayudro, but his limitations were catching up to him as Jayudro used his blood demon art to repel and parry his swords away. Jayudro. Die you little punk. Ramiro was wide open he didn't have time to block until suddenly two figures jumped in front of him, the taller one deflected the attack. Anjiro. Sun breathing eighth form. Solar heat haze. Ramiro. About time you two got up perfect timing too because I've got a plan. Tenjin. So do I. Ramiro. Good use it because it involves your musical score as for you Tanjiro. Tanjiro looked at his brother with determined eyes Ramiro smirked at him in response. Ramiro. Time to fight seriously. Jayudro. What he can't be serious they both couldn't have seriously been holding back this whole time. Tanjiro. Right. Tenjin. My musical score technique will take you as to victory. Tenjin dashed to Jayudro. Ramiro. Now it's ready. Jayudro. Don't make me laugh. Jayudro sent several blood slashes his way. Tenjin. Ichi, San, Shichi, Go, I, Kin I can read it now that filthy musical score of yours. Jayudro. He deflected my rotating circular slashes. Jayudro. Wait did he say score he turned my blood demon art into a song and deflected it, there's no way that's possible I've had enough of your crap. The slashes approached Tenjin when Ramiro then jumped in front of him. Ramiro. Slime breathing second form. Azathoth and Beelzebub, Void's Hellspin. All the slashes were drawn to Ramiro as he cut them all Jayudro was being drawn in as well. Tanjiro. Sun breathing 12th form. Flame dance. Jayudro deflected the attack but barely as he was sent flying back by it. Ramiro. Let me lead now. Ramiro dashed to him Jayudro sent several slashes his way. Ramiro. Slime breathing final form, imperfected technique. Omni breathing flame. Ramiro's right sword used flame breathing. Ramiro. Water, thunder, beast, sound, nature, moon, sun. Jayudro. He's using several breathing techniques, but how? Tanjiro. When did he have the time to learn those? Tenjin. He's even using sound I never taught him that, and how did he learn to use it so quickly this battle is the only time he's witnessed my techniques. Ramiro. Originally I started out with only two skills magic sense and mathematician, but now I've upgraded magic sense to universal perception, which allows me to see everything even clearer now, and I've given myself one more skill genius that allows me to learn and remember anything I've seen before, basically a more broken version of perfect memory, with it all the breathing styles I've seen in this life or mine to use as well. Ramiro yet again was flashing his wicked grin as he and Jayudro clashed and screamed with blood slashes and various breathing elements flashing in the air. Tenjin. 
Such a flashy technique you've created Ramuro now together. They all began to clash with Jayudro. He was losing the upper hand as he fought all of them at once. Ramuro. Sun and moon total eclipse. An eclipse appeared in the breathing style as Ramuro made an X-lash to cut Jayudro's arms. Ramuro. Now's our chance. Enjin and Tanjiro jumped and both prepared to slash him. Jayudro not happening. Dayudro grew his arms back far faster than he normally could he then pierced the bottom of both Tenjin and Tanjiro's mouths, but they didn't let that stop them, Tenjin extended his blade and began to cut Jayudro, while Tanjiro simply pushed through, regardless of the scythe in his mouth, he continued to cut him they were making little progress. Jayudro. Damn it not by them if I don't do something I'm gonna get beheaded dot 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 no, it's fine even if I get beheaded, as long as my sister's head is still intact, then I can finish off these stubborn punks. Meanwhile, Zenitsu was still using godspeed on Daki, and though he had her neck and godlike speed it wasn't cutting. Zenitsu. Damn it I'm running out of strength. Daki. It's too bad you'll never get the chance to decapitate me because before you do I'm gonna tear you to shreds. Aki's belt surrounded Zenitsu ready to dice him, but before they could Inosuke stop them, and he helped Zenitsu to cut Aki's neck, but they were still making little progress. Aki. With the extra power our lord gave me my neck is stronger than ever you brats won't be able to cut it as you are now. Good thing they're not alone. All three of them look to see Nezuko catching up to them in her adult form, she grabs Zenitsu and Inosuke's swords and slit her hands on them encasing them with her blood. Nezuko. Blood demon art. Combustive blood. They were making more progress as they were getting closer to cutting Daki's head off. Daki. Help me brother do something before I get decapitated. Meanwhile, Jayudro. I need to unleash the rotating circulatory slashes. Tenjin and Tanjiro's blades both reached a halt as they couldn't cut further. Ermuro. Damn it I can't help them it's all I can do to keep him like this how have all their necks grown so strong. Jayudro. Looks like you're done for. Not yet we aren't. They all looked and saw Seal preparing an attack. Jayudro. How she was bleeding out and that was enough poison to kill her 12 times over. Seal. I'll have to thank Nezuko later for healing me now to finish the both of you off nature breathing. 14th form. Clear sky celestial strike. Seal executed a downward slash that cut the last parts of Jayudro's neck while Daki was beheaded by Nezuko, Zenitsu, and Inosuke. Their heads both flew and fell facing each other. Ramuro collapsed. Tenjin. Ramuro. Tanjiro. Brother. Seal. Darling. Ramuro. Don't worry guys I'm fine was just running on adrenaline I'll be okay. Ramuro said this as he slowly got up. Ramuro. See I'm fine. Tanjiro. Guess everything's okay then. Ramuro. Wait crap in the heat of battle I forgot what comes next. All three of them were too focused on Ramuro to notice that Jayudro's body was about to release several lethal slashes. Ramuro. Everybody we need to rue. But it was too late the slashes were released it engulfed the city, but Nezuko saw them and used her flames to incinerate them before they could harm anyone when the dust finally settled. Ramuro. Are we okay we're fine right, I can't tell my body kinda stings, I also feel like I'm on something nice and soft, Tanjiro. Brother, Izuko. Brother hang on I've got you. Ramiro turned his head up to see everyone surrounding him making sure he was okay and Zenitsu being piggybacked by Tanjiro. Ramiro. What happened? Upon closer inspection, Ramiro noticed he was laying on top of Seal and that almost all the skin on his back was gone as he was slashed and bleeding out. Seal. Dot dot dot. Tanjiro. Before the slashes went off you jumped in front of Seal sent to protect her from it. Ramuro. Dot 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 I did. Tenjin. You did. Ramuro. Oh I remember now it was a bit of a blur. I noticed the slashes were going off everyone was too worried about me to notice at that point. My legs moved on their own. Nizuko. I already healed everyone else. Ramuro. Oh that's good to hear wait Tanjiro did you get it? Tanjiro. Yeah I already sent it on its way. Ramuro. Good. Tenjin. That power of yours very flamboyant Nezuko you saved my life the poison would have surely got to me if you weren't there I'm in your debt. Nezuko blushed while rubbing the back of her head. Nezuko. I'm just happy to help. Tenjin. Now that that's settled I must say you two are quite the flashy couple I knew she cared for you, but I didn't know you'd be so eager to rush in the front to protect her like that. Ramuro's ears turned red. Ramuro. Shut up I was only returning her favor from earlier, so now we're even. Tanjiro. Oh yeah in fact while I was getting out of the ruble I heard him screaming something. Ramuro was as red as a tomato. Ramuro. Brother. Silence. Tanjiro smirked. Tanjiro. Finally revenge for all the times he teased me in Kanao. Tenjin. I heard it clear as day he said. Ramuro. Don't. Tenjin. How dare you hurt my love. Tenjin quoted Ramuro quite mockingly. Tanjiro. I never knew you had such feelings for Seal San. Nizuko. So she did end up stealing your heart after all. Zenitsu. Well good for you, Sensei. Inosuke. Didn't realize Teach had such a soft spot. Suma. Oh how sweet. And it's Suru. I'm glad you found your destined one seal. Makio. So when you guys getting married. Seal was a blushing mess. Ramuro. That's it I'm gonna cut your arms off tension. Tenjin. Shit. Tenjin ran as Ramuro chased him around the ruble while holding his swords high. Ramuro. 
Get back here you flashy blabbermouth tension. What's the matter I'm pretty sure I did you a favor can't wait to tell the other Hashira about this, Ramiro. If you even think about telling them I'm gonna kill you more. Everyone laughed as Tenjin was running for his life from Ramiro. Meanwhile, Jayudro was in the middle of his recollection of his life he was holding the burnt body of Yume. Jayudro. No one ever offered to help us no surprises there that was just the story of our daily lives, no one batted an eye to our suffering, even at its worst, and then it would start to snow day in and day out, we were denied any bit of mercy from bystanders, why was that so much for fortune and misfortune are intertwined, our entire lives were filled with tragedy pain and suffering, Ramuru. Quite a shame really, Jayudra looked up and saw Ramuru. Ramuru. Neither of you ever had a chance it's truly quite a shame where self-defense gets you, Jayudro. Wait this isn't what happened how are you here, Ramuru. Let's just say though a bit later God did hear your cry and is here to give you both salvation, Jayudro. Do you mean to mock us more, Ramuru? Quite the contrary actually I want to give you both a second chance at life for both of you I've been doing this for demons that I see fit, but your story really sticks out to me, so I decided I'm taking you both to a better place myself, Jayudro. Wait if things really are changed here what happened to Dauma, Ramuru. Don't worry about it, Dauma's corpse was around the corner with his head severed and a terrified expression left on his face, Ramuru. I know you both don't have reason to believe me, but please trust me, Jayudro. Dot 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 well it's not like I've got any other options. Ramuru healed the both of them and took their hands and guided them through a portal. Meanwhile, Ramuro. All they needed was someone anyone willing to show them kindness, a better place awaits the both of you looks like it was a good day after all. Ramuro was sitting on tension. Tension. Alright already you made your point I'm sorry now will you please get off me. Abanai. Um, I see really now upper 5A unfortunately, with a gap made by 3 being defeated, that would have made it the lowest of the upper ranks. Ramuro, Seal, Suma, and Makio all had visible veins on their heads. Abanai. Well fifth or not you all still managed to defeat an upper rank, so I believe congratulations are in order, though it was the weakest I guess you've earned some praise. Tenjin. I don't know if that was a compliment or not, but thanks. Suma. What he said. Makio. You took your sweet time getting here. Suma. Why why yeah, you showed up after all the fighting how convenient, Haburamu hissed at Suma causing her to fall back, seal. Oh it's fine I doubt that he would have been much help anyways, Ramuro. Yeah fair fair it may have been the weakest, but let me ask you Aguro how many upper moons have you defeated when you fought one, then I'll hear it, but currently not only are we the first Hashira to kill an upper moon, this make two for me three, if you count the fact that there were two of them, Abanai. Maybe but I'm certain I wouldn't have passed out after the battle or needed the sunlight to save me, Ramuro. Seal, remind me to lock Aguro in a room with Ultima. Seal, yes master, Abanai. I suppose above all else we should be grateful you all sustained no major injuries, you may continue your duties quite hastily. Tenjin. I'm actually retiring I believe I've contributed all I could to our fight, I'm sure the master will understand that much. Ramuro. You sure you can still fight and help out you're still in your prime. Tenjin. Yeah I did achieve the goal I wanted besides I think the core will be just fine. Ramuro. Well considering this is the second upper rank that's been killed, I doubt the master will have any complaints, seal. It still doesn't sit right with me how could master belittle himself so much even as an act, Abanai. Fine I was beginning to think we were getting a bit overcrowded, seal. Stop speaking to us as if you're our boss and you have any say in the matter, Ramiro. Well let's get out of here the smell of ruble is getting to me, tension. I agree finally he got off me now let's go home in a flashy way, Zenitsu began wailing, Ramiro. What's wrong with you, Zenitsu? We all survived. Anjiro gave a warm smile. Anjiro. Yeah, Ramuro. Seriously was there ever any doubt I'm finding your lack of faith disturbing Zenitsu. Zenitsu. Easy for you to disregard life when you have a girl for you it's tough for the single. Ramuro and Seal blushed. Ramuro. Shut up I'm giving you tougher training Tanjiro feel free to drag him by his feet to start some endurance training. Zenitsu. Nuuu. Izuko. Come on big brother go easy on him. Ramuro. Dot 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 fine. Ramuro looked up at the sky. Ramuro. Just for tonight I suppose we can rest, Tsujiwidmsuru. Time passed since the entertainment district arc Ramuro woke up from his bed, Ramuro. It's only been three days we do have some time before the swordsmith village arc, I decided to give my Tsuguko the week off, since we just killed an upper moon and made it out might as well take some time off no rest for the Hashira, though I've got a meeting soon. He got up from his room and looked at the window, Ramuro. Still at least the Tempest Mansion turned out nicely, Ramuro. Those Kakushi really work fast, they got the design right perfectly nice that a lot of them seemed to like me as well. Ramiro did his morning routine he then walked by everyone's rooms and checked on his Tsuguko, they were all sleeping quite soundly in their rooms. Ramiro. Nice to know they've adjusted to it, I remember the look on all their faces when they first saw it and realized it was all for them. Ramiro went to the kitchen and prepared an elaborate meal. First to come down was Tanjiro he looked excitedly at the meals at every seat. Tanjiro. 
Did you prepare all this for us, Ramiro? Don't dig in yet Tanjiro it's not finished. Ramiro then put down several plates of pancakes for each seed as well. Tanjiro. Brother these look amazing. Ramiro. Always wanted to cook stuff like this again, but I never got the chance. Tanjiro. When did you learn to cook stuff like this? Ramiro. Now that's a trade secret. Tanjiro. Come on you can tell me. Ramiro. Nope. Suddenly running could be heard, and Inasuke could be seen rushing into the room. Inasuke. Awesome food I'm starving let's eat. Ramiro. Hey we're not eating till everyone gets here yet so sit down and wait. Inasuke grumbled as he sat in his seat. Soon both Zenitsu and Nizuko came down. Nizuko. Good morning. Zenitsu. Good morning thanks for the food. Ramiro and Tanjiro glared at Zenitsu which terrified him. Zenitsu. What I didn't do anything. Ramiro. What took the both of you so long and why are you so close? Nizuko. I was just helping Zenitsu down the stairs he's still having trouble recovering after the entertainment district. Zenitsu nodded rapidly. Ramiro. Is that all? Zenitsu. Yes it is I promise Sensei Ramiro. Ramiro. Dot 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 fine good morning Zenitsu. Ramiro's mod changed immediately. Ramiro. Good morning Nizuko I hoped you slept well. Nizuko. I slept fine this mansion is nice, I hope you didn't spend too much for us to live here. Ramiro. Of course, not every Hashira gets a free mansion, that's how it works besides we get paid in however much we want now let's hurry up and dig in. They all enjoyed their meal. Ramiro. For now you guys are on leave not everyone has recovered since the entertainment district, we'll continue our training next week, which should give you all enough time to recover. Zenitsu. A week do you know the effects Godspeed does to me I'll be out for M-O-N-T-H at least. Ramiro. Then heal faster. Zenitsu. Why must Sensei be so cruel to me? Izuko put a hand on Zenitsu's shoulder. Izuko. Don't worry I'll help with your healing. Zenitsu. You're such a generous goddess Nizuko. Inasuke and Nizuko then hastily finished their meals. Nizuko and Inasuke. I want some more. Ramiro. Yeah I figured as much so I prepared more in advance give me a second. Nizuko and Inasuke continued to devour their food like starving animals. Nizuko. This is amazing brother still I must wonder where did you learn to cook such fine meals I don't remember mother ever teaching you. Ramiro. Trade secret. Tanjiro. Come on tell us. Ramiro. Alright alright I found a couple of cookbooks on a mission and put them to use that's a lie I honestly just copied the chefs in Tempest. Tanjiro. Well it's really good thank you for the food brother. Ramiro. Sure anyways I'd love to stay, but I've got a meeting I need to attend, so if you'll excuse me. Ramiro was almost out of the room when he then looked back at them. Ramiro. Oh by the way while I'm gone you're in charge Tanjiro. Tanjiro. Right. Ramiro. Try not to cause too much trouble while I'm gone and make sure you get the rest you need. Zenitsu. Um sensei. Ramiro. What's up? Zenitsu. Well, it's just dot 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 um dot dot dot. Ramiro. Spit it out already. Zenitsu took a deep breath. Zenitsu. It's just I'd like to make use of the deal you made in battle. Ramiro. Dot dot dot. Tanjiro. What deal? Ramiro. Dot 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 damn I was hoping you were unconscious for that. Izuko. You're not going to go back on your word are you, brother? Ramiro. Dot dot dot. Ramiro took in a deep breath then, Ramiro. Dot 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 you better bring her back before sunset. Everyone looked surprised except for Inasuke who didn't care as he was having sevenths. Tanjiro. Brother, Ramiro. I keep my word Tanjiro. Ramiro then left. Zenitsu. Am I dreaming is this real life it can't be it, it, it's a miracle. Tanjiro. This is a nightmare, and brother is the current head of the house, so there's nothing I can do about it, just what is he thinking. Ramiro was walking out of the mansion. Ramiro. Enjoy it while you can Zenitsu. Ramiro. Because as soon as the week is over you'll go through the most grueling training of your life. Ramiro gave himself an evil chuckle that led to a cackle as he left the estate. Ramiro made it to the meeting site where he greeted Giyu. Ramiro. Hey Giyu good morning how are you doing? Giyu. Fine thanks. Ramiro. That's good to hear you just arrived too. Giyu. Yes. Ramiro. Thanks again for teaching us dead calm it's come in handy a lot. Giyu. I'm glad you've made use of it. Seal. Stop it. Ramiro and Giyu both entered the garden where they heard a commotion. Shinobu. Oh but sister we must know for sure, Hani. No need to be shy now of all times, Mitsuri. Yes you can talk to us, Ramiro. What's this about, Seal? Ah darling when did you get here, Ramiro? Just now why, Aijiro? Ahh hello Ramiro I'm pleased to see you in good health and have defeated another upper moon, Ramiro. I'm glad to see you in good health as well Kaijiro, Aijiro. Also there's been something I've been meaning to ask you, Ramiro. What is it, Aijiro? Did you really declare Seal as your love and even protect her in your battle against Upper Five? Ramiro. Dot dot dot. Biu. Dot dot dot. Kaijuro. Dot dot dot. Ramiro. Kaijuro. Kaijuro. Yes, Ramiro. Who told you that? Kaijuro. Tenjin did he told everyone. Ramiro. Where is he? Kaijuro. He already resigned and retired to his mansion, but he left us with this news before he did. Ramiro. 
That flashy bastard I'm gonna kill him, Shinobu. Ah so it is true my I didn't know that the feelings she showed were actually mutual, Seal. Sister what are you trying to say, Hanny? Think nothing of it first tell us the details, Seal. What details, Biu? I never knew you actually liked Seal as well, Mitsuri. To save each other and fight alongside each other in the heat of battle what could be more romantic, Jaime? I assume this would one day come to pass, Abanai. You two deserve each other, Hijuro. Congratulations both of you, Ermuro. Silence all of you this discussion is over, Shinobu. Oh is someone getting flustered about this, Ermuro? Shinobu I'm going to have to ask you to cease this, Shinobu. Why so eager to change the subject, Ermuro? Why so eager to hang around Gyu all the time, Shinobu's aura considerably changed, Shinobu. Just what are you implying Tsujikuni, Ermuro? Ah uh, nothing, Hani. Oh my he does seem to have a point sister are you both really so lovesick, Seal? Don't think your glances at Tsunemi go unnoticed either, Seal whispered which led to Kani turning red, Ermuro. People please can we focus on why we were gathered here and not mention this, Abanai. I for once agree such discussions are a waste of time, Ermuro. Thank you Aguro, Shinazagawa I'm sure you've got to agree right this is a waste of time dot 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 Shinazagawa. Tsunemi didn't say anything he simply stared at Ramuro with glaring eyes, Ramuro. Is he pissed off this is the fourth moon I've killed crap hope he isn't too jealous or something, maybe I should keep my distance for now I don't want to start fights with him, I'd win too quickly making him even more upset, Yuchiro. What kind of bug is that, Ramuro? I hope the master arrives soon, Seal cringed at hearing that, Seal. Why must he belittle himself so much? Meanwhile back at the Tempest Mansion, Zenitsu. I never thought he'd actually allow this I was positive he'd kill me for asking is Sensei Ramuro actually a nice guy I never expected this now I feel so nervous dot dot dot. Then again a date with Nezuko Yahoo this makes everything I've been through as a demon slayer automatically worth it I've done everything I can to be ready for this day. I can't be a coward now, Nezuko. Are you ready Zenitsu, Zenitsu? Oh why yeah, Tanjiro. Zenitsu, Zenitsu. Oh yeah, Hanjiro held Zenitsu's shoulders, Hanjiro. Since brother is the head of our house I will keep my peace, but if you hurt anyway we will end you, Zenitsu nodded rapidly, Izuko grabbed her brother's shoulder, Izuko. Brother you shouldn't bully Zenitsu, Inosuke was lying on the living room floor not truly caring about the conversation, Izuko. Well we'll be going now please don't follow us, brother, Izuko glared back at Tanjiro with a terrifying aura, Tanjiro grits his teeth as Zenitsu and Nezuko left out the door, Nezuko held Zenitsu's hand which made Tanjiro even more furious, Tanjiro. Brother maybe some slight casualties would have been worth it if I could avoid this reality, meanwhile, Ramuro had an awful look on his face that drew some of the pillar's attention, Ringoku. You don't look well Ramuro, do you? Is something wrong, seal? Darling is something bothering you please let me know I'll be happy to dispose of it, Ramuro. Dot 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 it's nothing, Ramuro then grew a wicked grin that unnerved the other Hashira, Ramuro. It's just like the final meal of a man on death row enjoy it before your just suffering begins Zenitsu, let me know in the comments below if you guys want the next part. Also check out my other video that has been shown and left, thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this video please like and share this video.and have a fantastic day bye.